Oh, this is a low viewer start, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be a weird fucking day. Oh, okay. So, uh, Mosh, I will help, uh, I will help a European brother out. Um, here's the one defense I have of the Imperial temperature unit that we use. It's the one. Keep in mind, I use metric for everything else. Uh, all of my weights and measurements, everything, um, I do mosh is basically metric. Um, but temperature Celsius is how water feels about temperature. Fahrenheit is how humans feel about temperature, right? Zero is frozen. A hundred is boiling. This is, this is a scale for water. Humans, thir zero is fucking basically the limit of what we're going to deal with. 32 is fuck me, it's cold. And 100 is holy fuck, it's hot. Right? Like Fahrenheit, this is my only defense that I have of, Fahren uh, of any of this bullshit, uh, Mosh, is Fahrenheit is how humans feel about temperature. Celsius is how water feels about temperature. It's the only, it makes sense when you think about it that way. All the other metrics shit I agree with. Um, oh, so, there. It's my one defense of an imperial measurement unit. Finally someone said it. Yeah, no, Fahrenheit makes more sense for humans to measure temperature in. Um, Celsius makes more t uh, sense if you're in the kitchen or if you're like, if you're cooking, if you're in a lab, if you're in any sort of scientific or, you know, technical process, Celsius makes more, more sense. But if we're talking about, yeah, Celsius is great for cooking and science. Yes. Yeah, but, um, if we're talking about how humans feel about what the temperature is, honestly, Fahrenheit's a more representative scale. Um, so, but every other metric measurement is basically superior. <laughs> I do think we should keep Fahrenheit, though. That's, that's that's my feeling on the matter as a filthy, filthy American. Um, who wants to see the morning shake? I didn't have time to chug it down my throat. Actually, Euro measurement supremacy with her is, uh, uh, is metric. Um... There is no banana, there is no egg, nor is there any, there any nog. The green tinge, the, gr the green tinge is from chlorella and spirulina. Um, so the green is from green algae, a blue green algae, technically. Um, there's a brown tone in there that is the mushroom mix. The mushroom mix is kind of infamous at this point. Um, at least you turn it sideways. Fuck you, Cassidy. Uh, <laughs> um, let me get you the the list um, for, there it is. Um, the, the mushroom mix is, hey, nonsense. How you guys doing? Um, mushrooms. There we go. Um, Agaricus blazei, Entrodia, Chaga, Cordyceps, King Trumpet, Lion's Mane, Maitake, uh, Reishi, uh, Shiitake, and Turkey Tail. So that's what's in the mushrooms. Uh, and there's a bunch of shit. Um, and then there's a, like I said, there's a bunch of shit in addition to that. Um, Good on you, nonsense. Yeah, and then there's like, uh, there's BCAAs, there's pea protein isolate, which is not green. Um, there's BCAAs, pea protein isolate, fractionated am uh, barley amylopectin, uh, potassium citrate, magnesium citrate, uh, zinc citrate, uh, calcium citrate, um, 
Oh, um, turmeric extract, um, standardized to an 85, uh, 85 to one ratio, um, pepperine, um, which is a black pepper extract that helps, uh, nutrient absorption. Um, what else is there? Oh, uh, there's digestive enzymes and, oh, um, L-glutamine. Um, so that's what's in the morning shake. Um, cordyceps, C-O-R-D-Y-C-E-P-S uh, is how you spell cordyceps. Um, so yeah, um, that's, that's what's in the morning shake. Oh, it tastes exactly what you would expect it to taste like, up punk. Glutamine, not glutamate, glutamine. Um, L-glutamine. Um... Yeah, I ain't spelling those fancy science names. Um, yeah, yeah, glutamine is uh, an amino acid that's really useful in um, immune system, uh, like immune cell replacement, as well as gastrointestinal lining replacement. The cellular structure that your gastrointestinal walls use, as well as a lot of the uh, foundational structures that your immune cells use, all use L-glutamine as the uh, as a foundational building block of them. So yeah, L-glutamine is that. Yes, yes, Mosh. Mosh, Mosh, you're going to get a very, very special hydrate. <sighs> this is a fucking nightmare. And yes, I hold my nose. Honestly, I, I found over the years that I can chug drinks easier, like the thick ones, if I hold my nose. Don't ask me. It's just a thing. I've been doing it for years now. Cheers, Mosh. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> not not at this moment. It's um that's mostly um chlorella. It's mostly just uh, chlorella. Oh, uh, <clears throat> there you go. Just for you, Mosh. Just for you. Oh, fucking a. Um, Peaky, any improvement in neuropathy? Is the exercising helping? No, God, no. Uh, if anything, it probably makes it a little worse because it supercharges my immune system and my immune system is what's, re is what's responsible for my neuropathy. So, had a red eye and that looked <laughs> harder to drink. Oh no, all of my, whenever we talk about my protein shakes and shit, they're terrible. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely terrible. Um, they all are just miserable to drink. <laughs> Um, but they're some of the most healthful stuff. Like cat, cat can testify. Like you could not chalk it up to, um, placebo or psychosomatic effects, but cat came over sick, like with a scratchy sh sh uh, throat and like dropped energy levels. And I fed him one of my, uh, one of my like mainstay shakes, um, with like all of the stuff and it, you know, I, Within like 45 minutes to an hour, his energy levels are up. He's feeling a little like more chipper, you know, and the next day he felt better. Like, it, I, honestly, my, oh, I forgot the vitamin C in there as well. There's also vitamin C. Uh, I, just ascorbic acid, um, straight up. So, yeah, um, I they're chock full of everything your body needs and some shit your body didn't even know it needed. So, oh. Uh, um, what are we going to do today? What are we going to do today? Jesus Christ. I honestly, I don't feel like going through the fucking news. Uh, yeah, protein. Uh, 
Recipes on the Discord, perhaps. Um, I mean, I, whatever. Um, maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's they're they're uh, they're a bit to assemble. I'll I'll tell you that right now. They're not cheap. Um, but I mean, when compared against fast food, they're actually super exp uh, super uh, affordable. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, mine, no wither. Sometimes it does in some people, though. Thymus issues are um, sometimes an issue people have to deal with. But mine, I've, again, it's all been tested. Mine's fine. Uh, we can talk cooking. I'm making chicken stock tomorrow and a few other things. Nice. Um, are you, are you what, what, what is standard standard stock? Got punk? Like mirepoix? Chicken carcass? Cook and simmer? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um... Good on you then. Having a good stock sitting around goes a long ways. Um, uh, uh, I, I don't even know how to say your fucking name. Um, you're making a Yankee pot roast as well. Fuck yeah. Um, I can type. Uh, yeah, I don't even I don't even know how to say your fucking name, but I don't know what you're on about and what your deal is. But you seem to be here just to be like agitating. Um, so like, why don't we just get it out of your system and move on with it? Um, like, what's your deal? Let's just get it over with. It's Friday. We have bad movie night to get to after the stream, and most of us look forward to this day, quite frankly, like in the community and stuff, like. It's a fun day for us. We, we like a bunch of people pile into the Discord server and we all get fucking stoned and drunk and shit and watch bad movies. And Fridays are a really good day for us to decompress. So what's your fucking deal? You haven't actually asked the fucking, you haven't questioned anything. You've just been right out of the gate. What's the deal with this movie? Uh, what's the deal with this music? And you won't go far in anarchist society with this knowledge. Like, what does that what does it even mean? Yeah. Uh, nonsense. Uh, I'm thinking we may do Roadhouse. Yeah. Um, in addition to something else. But I'm thinking we need some Swayze in our life. Uh, no, I didn't see that nonsense. Is that from, what, one of the legal settlements? Whatever. Let me know when you actually get to a question and I'll answer it. Um, yeah, oh yeah, the girl, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, the assessment for Sandy, yeah, all right, that makes sense. Um, yeah, poor guy, he's been, he's been sending me fucking emails left and right. Like, it, it I've, you know, fucking, I've been getting them as well. I did not, uh, we did not, are you, are you in this week, Nonsense? Are you are you down for this? Are you is this your on week? Um. Okay, cool. Then maybe we should do alien seed. Um, if I can find it, Jesus Christ! How am I going to take care of myself in an anarchist society? Um, the same way I take my take care of myself in a capitalist society, only with less um, coercive elements in society and a little more cooperation from my neighbors. There. Wow, that was really difficult to answer. Uh, anyway, let's see. Alien C. Let me go try and find it. I wonder if ITS has it. That sounds very naive. I mean, given, given that I've grown up in, like, states that have, like, anarchist communes and stuff like that, and I grew up in small-town America that utilizes mutual aid on a regular basis, and I'm familiar with dual power structures and direct democracy, seeing as I grew up in Vermont, and we still have direct democracy in some townships in Vermont, and we still have town hall meetings where you engage in direct democracy, um, and the fact that I've done uh, in-the-street organizing for anarchist uh, uh, organizations, as well as uh, um, participated in 
and worker-owned co uh, cooperatives. I don't understand how this is naive. I've got plenty of experience working in uh, hierarchical organ uh, organized uh, 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 modalities as well as, um, you know, experience. Like, I don't, I don't understand how this is naive. What part of this is naive? What position are you even coming from? Are you capitalist, Marxist, Leninist, neoliberal, conservative? Like, what, what's your what's your fucking deal? Like, it, <laughs> who are you? Um, anyway, uh, let me continue trying to find Alien Seed um, because that was a movie we need to watch. Um, and I am not finding it readily. Uh, uh. Oh, you've been here before. Gee, I don't remember these people. Yeah, because nobody's ever run anything anarchistically or uh, uh, hierarchically at a, <clears throat> at a countrywide scale before. It's never been done. What? Uh, what, 50% of agriculture and industry uh, during the Spanish Civil War was li literally entirely produced by um, fucking anarchistically organized communes? What? Nestor Machno ran an entire army for a country? Uh, hierarchically and anarchistically organized and went toe to toe with the fucking Russians. Uh, oh, interesting. Anyway, um, what? Oh, a hierarchically organized country lasted longer than this country has been in existence and went toe to toe with the uh, with the papal states at the time. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, yeah, totally naive. Anyway, um, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I okay. I don't remember this shit. Um, but definitely an interesting, um, like, I don't, I've, I've immediately forget people like this, um, going on about homosexual masochism and politics from the view of a fetishist and fuck it. Like, yeah, yeah. No, no. Anarchism relies on, uh, relies upon diversity of ideas and thoughts. In the words of Emma Goldman. Anarchism isn't a monolithic philosophy. It's a network of ideas, and we much prefer it that way. Uh, let's see. Oh, I like to talk about depravity as well. Also, video games are for children. Um... Yes. Lovely. <clears throat> All right, back to more important business at hand. <clears throat> Alien seed. Way more important than this. Uh... If it's on Prime, nope. Dude. <clears throat> This movie is not easy to find. Wait, I may have just found it. All right, hang on. See if I can scrape it. Also, <clears throat> also, uh, Karate Dog was uh, a potential uh, selection for tonight. I was thinking about that as well.
Give me an inspection tool. There. Copy the link. All right, if we have to watch it that way, we'll watch it that way. I've got it. <clears throat> I've got it. <clears throat> oh, jeez, Wither. Um, yeah, nonsense. We've got Alien Seed. It's, it's, I'm going to have to switch our, our viewing modality, but we've got it. So, job done. Maybe it's so exists. It's only existent. Uh, maybe it's uh, so ex awesome. It only exists in a trailer now. I don't right. Many religious groups won't agree with you. Uh, there's a ton of Christian and Islamic anarchists. Just FYI. Oh, did Bobby break down? Well, that sucks, Cassidy. Um, give him, give Bobby a pat, uh, a friendly pat on the ass from me. Get cheer him up. Um. Seems you're basically at ass height anyway on him. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that sucks. That's never a fun deal. Oh, a little crick in my neck too. Didn't come out. Um, Um, yeah, it didn't come out when I was doing my core work. I was thinking, like, since, it, you know, there'd be a lot of head and neck movement during my core work, I was like, eh, maybe I'll work that crick out. But, it's right there. Tag tagging yourself. Always a, always a sign of an attentive person. Um, yeah. Anyway. Oh, do we want to do the news? Do we want to do the news? Ah, fuck it. Um, we had a bunch yesterday that we didn't get to because we had, dude, last night's stream was solid work. All right. Um, uh, Matt Gates's ex girlfriend took time off from um, el elementary school. She uh, she got a, a parental uh, permission slip signed so she could go testify to a grand jury in the sex trafficking probe against him. Yes, it's hyperbolic. Uh, that's satire. But, I mean, the fact of the matter is, is you know, he likes him young. Um, anyway. Um, oh, we did talk about this uh, briefly, but let's talk about it again because it's kind of fucking hilarious. Right there. That's you tagging yourself. Just just so we can be clear on the what you are or aren't doing. I'm not doing that at all. I'm not I'm not tagging myself. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Just just FYI. Sure, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Um blame the system, I'm sure. Um Move those goalposts. Make some more excuses. I'm sure. Um, let's see. Uh, we did talk about how the Pope went um, went full on um, anti late stage capitalism, right? Uh, the Pope like dropped a series of fucking tweets, basically just calling every industry out. Um, <clears throat> telecommunic uh, telecommunications giants to liberalize access to educational materials in exchange with teachers via the internet, so that poor children can be educated even under quarantine. Technology giants to stop preying on human weakness, people's vulnerability in order to make a profit. 
arms manufacturers and dealers to totally cease their activity that foments violence and war, often in the context of geopolitical games that cost millions of lives and displace as many people. Big food corporations to stop imposing mono a monopolistic production and distribution structures that inflate prices and end up with withholding bread from the hungry. Large mining, uh, oil, forestry, real estate, agribusiness companies to stop destroying nature, to stop polluting, to stop intoxicating people and food. Financial groups and international credit institutions to guarantee poor country, uh, countries the basic needs of their people and to waive those debts so often contracted against the interests of those people. Big lab laboratories to liberalize patents and to carry out a gesture of humanity and allow every human being access to the vaccine. Um, full on based Pope. Yeah, full on based Pope. Um... Let's see. We talked about the uh, um, we talked about the BNSF uh, railway uh, railway strike last night. Um, that was um, th that BNSF. If you're not familiar, is the largest rail carrier uh, railway carrier in the U.S. Um, and it looks like they are uh, authorizing their strike. So that's going to be a thing. It's going to be an interesting thing. I'm I'm all for it. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, the Oath Keepers founder is being charged with seditious conspiracy, by the way. It's been a while since somebody's been charged with seditious conspiracy in this country. That's, dude, fucking... I honestly, usually, I think the, who is the last person to get charged with sedition? Um... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a super rarely used, um, char uh, charge, um, ah, yes, the Christian militia group, uh, the Christian militia group in, uh, in 2010. Yeah. Uh, the, H uh, the Huttery, uh, the Huttery. Yeah. Five members of the uh, Christian militia group in, uh, uh, that, uh, tried to, well, I mean, ha, 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 ha. uh, it never ended up sticking. That was the thing with the, uh, w with, uh, the Huttery, uh, they, yeah, they, they weren't, they weren't even acquitted. Um, the judge, uh, the judge waived the charges. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was, that was how that, that played out. Um, it was like a couple of years after the government filed charges. The judge waived it with uh, for lack of evidence. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was a largely circum. I, if I'm angry, correct you, it was a largely a circumstantial uh, case. Anyway, <clears throat> they didn't have what they needed. So, this is what it is. Um, but the Oath, Ke Oath Keepers founder, uh, a guy by the name of Stuart Ro Rhodes, has been charged with seditious conspiracy. Um, yeah, we, we rarely use that. A lot of those sedition laws were implemented because of anarchists, by the way. We're the ones a lot of those laws were set up to target. Later on, they used it for socialists and communists, but early on, it was a lot of anarchists that they went after with the sedition charges. Um... <laughs> Uh, do I think the charges will stick? Mm, no, I think they'll probably be argued down. Yeah. I think they'll probably cut a deal somewhere along the way. Um, that seems to be the trend with a lot of the January 6th stuff is they they uh, plead out uh, to various charges. Um, not a whole lot of it's sticking at the, uh, at the level that people uh, seemingly a lot of people wanted to be charged at, but it's difficult to prove a lot of those heavier charges, quite frankly. Um, so, yeah, I think it'll probably be uh, a deal will be cut somewhere along the way to save everybody the pain and uh, pain in the ass that uh, a trial like that is. Uh, sedition, because pointing out how your boss is kind of an asshole is illegal. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I ironically do not disagree with the, the idea that um, uh, what they did is a possible outcome. I think storming the government is uh, like basically contained within the Constitution is a viable uh, potential. Um, I think that the difference is that like you 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 lose. Like if if you if you win, 
congratulations, you got away with it. It's like it's like the founding of this country, right? Um, it's that simple, right? If if the founders of this country failed, they were going to be hung, drawn, and quartered, and their heads put on a pike on the bridge, right? Like if that's how that was going to play out. What's up, cat? Um, and that was that simple. Like it's it's perfectly viable per the Constitution, per the founders' framing and view, vision of this country for this country. Um, that like this is how you this is how you handle a government you feel is out of uh, out of control. Um, I, 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 you know, ironically enough, I don't have anything against what they did, but the problem is, is that they failed, right? Like they failed. Um, and when you play the game, well, that's the thing, right? Um, uh, as anarchists, most of us are well educated to not try that tactic anymore, right? Um, it, it's not worth doing that. The government's set up for it as evidenced by the bitch that caught a fucking round in the throat, right? Like. What are you doing? You're trying to storm the fucking Capitol building? Homie, you think they're not going to respond? Right? Like, yeah, a couple of the assholes on the outer, outskirts let them in because, well, they were on team, right? They fucking opened those gates for them. Um, fucking cops, some of those that work forces, right? <clears throat> but, like, what'd you think? They weren't going to fucking defend themselves? Y'all showed up armed and shit. Like, they had arms stashed around the corner and crap. Right? Like, honestly, like, yeah, of course that's how that played out. Right? This is why modern anarchists advocate, at least in North America, for dual power structures and that sort of um, more subversive tactic because we know if you go toe to toe with the federal government, you lose. That's just how that works. You, you, like, what? Do you have a drone program? Do you have an Apache gunship? Do you have an Abrams tank? Do you have a battle uh, a battle fleet? No, then shut the fuck up. You know you don't have shit. You can't go toe to toe with this structure. You're a fucking idiot if you think you can, right? Like that's any 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 anarchist knows this these days, right? These dummies are for these dummies were the like the first in the conservative cr crew, right? To try some shit for the first time in generations. Leftists know this because we've been going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the, the federal government for generations, right? Like, we know what it looks like. We know back to the 1880s all the way to now. We know what it looks like. Um, we know what what happens when you play around, you fuck around and find out with the federal government um, and the state government and the local government and the privatized corporations that they charge with security. Um... So we're, we're in, intimately familiar with the response, but these dumb fucking largely white people, largely insulated white people had no idea what was going on and they fucking charged through. And as Marcus fucking pointed out, they honestly seemed surprised they even got there. And then they were like, what, what do we do? What do we do? And then they were surprised by the response. They shot that innocent woman. You tried to breach Congress violently what do you think was gonna happen homie yeah bitch got capped like fucking black people know this innately fuck around and find out as a black man right you can't even move quickly around a cop right like you can't Black man ain't gonna keep your fucking hands in sight. Do not move quickly. Don't look like you're running from them, right? You will catch a fucking round. These idiots thought they could storm a federal building, right? Like they had no idea. They had they bit off so much more than they could chew, and they were like, ah, like how how dare they respond that way? Every single leftist fucking uh, agitator activist. Uh, and every single person of color in the country was like, yeah, what'd you think was going to happen? Like, it was just, it was the stupidest fucking thing. It, it, uh, fundamentally, I don't disagree with them. Like, look, you have a, you have qualms, you have issues, you have points that you feel are not being uh, uh, addressed and you have no other course of redress. Then this is the option the founders left, but you fucked up. You failed. And that's what happened. To, that's what would happen. To, yeah. And then they live streamed it all for evidence. Fucking brilliant, too. 
Uh, I assume they're going to plea this one, but it's more achievable than the other charges I've seen. Here's the code if you want it. Later ele uh, elemental options seemed uh, reachable in theory. Hey, right, Marcus. I'm not going to look at it, but I trust your analysis. I love that part. Yeah, that's, that's you know. I, I don't, like, hey. They tried. They failed. And now you get what happens when you fail. Right? Like, that's, that's how that plays. Fuck them. I uh, started reading teacher reviews for my humanities teacher, and someone gave him a two and called him a liberal. He's very clearly left of a liberal. <laughs> hey, fucking liberal. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, um, 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 abortion is now constitutional law in New Jersey. Based in New Jersey. Um, it's, it's, the law is weird, by the way. Um, the law is really wide. The law is really wide. Like I've I've seen some read some readings of it. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, like I'm not reading that fucking legal code. Ugh. Um, yeah, like there's some readings of the New Jersey law that like basically allow for like, oh, the baby's being born, stab, stab, stab. Like they don't, they, they're not restricting it. They're putting like no limitations on that shit. It seems like. Um, I get it. It's for the purposes of like, um, you know, malformed birds and stuff like that. And things that had to be c carried to term just in case for the safety of the, the mother or uh, late trimester, uh, abortions, which account for less than 1%, by the way, don't fucking let any of these assholes ever fucking oh, late term abortions. It happens in less than 1% of, uh, of abortion cases. And it's always a medical necessity. Doctors don't fucking do late term abortions without can like reason right and, and so yeah it's just but new jersey constitutional law they say it was signed in um it it's it's now enshrined in new jersey law that abortion is legal so good on him uh i have him for humanities and world religion had him for art appreciation last semester it was very based he was talking about early egalitarian society hey it'll be a good a uh, good uh good class to have then um, cat, 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 cat. Did you see the video of the black, uh, black and Chinese, um, basketball player shit? Oh, that's, that's, that's fucking hilarious. They do it for the adrenochrome brother. I gotta get on that adrenochrome train man. get me a fucking baby source. Um, actually some guy on Facebook told me that a doctor and every single abortion happens after the baby is born as a sacrifice to Satan. <laughs> Israel. Oh uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, now I just beat the fat of me. Uh, Jesus Christ. Good on you, nonsense. Good on you. Um... Oh, and I hope nobody has uh, an Amazon, um... Download that shit straight into my DMs. Oh God! All right, here. Uh, this is the aftermath, right? Here's 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 what happened after Cat. Um, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. This is this is what happened. Um, uh, this is what happened when the uh, the black basketball player got off the bus at the next stop. Um, yeah, yeah. I hope nobody uh, nobody uh, uh, fucking has an Amazon package coming through LA. Because you ain't getting that package. Uh, let's see. Do I have the... Yes, there it is. Uh, address. Um. <laughs> oh... Love it. Love it. Love it. Hey, capitalism breeds desperate. Uh, capitalism breeds inequality and inequity within the economic uh, sphere of society, which bleeds out otherwise, uh, other ways. Um, but uh, inequality within economic levels in society breeds desperation, uh, breeds poverty, and then it breeds desperation. Poverty breeds desperation, and desperation breeds theft. Um, yeah. People tend not to, unless they've got patho underlying pathologies. People tend not to steal from other people unless they, they need it or their children. So, you know, when you're young, 
Um, but yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck them. It's all insured. It's all insured. What's up, Chief? Um, it's just the free market regulating itself. I mean, in a way, it is. Oh, it's funny, funny. Elster Crowley was pro-life. Uh, get fucked in the ass to summon a demon, but abortion's too far. I mean, you know, everybody's got to have a line, Marcus. Uh... UPS, it just UP, sent a letter to the LADA criticizing the cash bail ban uh, as the cause. Jesus. Boobies. Just boobies. So up, non-binary? Um, <clears throat> oh, Union Pacific. See, you didn't capitalize. Uh, fucking, I couldn't. I, I, it, my brain's fucking, dude, still. I'm not even warmed up here. But thank you. Um, Iptim. 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 Uh, I've been on for like, I don't know, less than an hour. 40 minutes, something like 45, uh, 55 minutes, maybe. Not better. 51. There you go. Uh, I was just trying to tell you fast. Titties. Um, so let's name and shame some assholes. Um, Eight downs? Yeah, go fuck yourself. Um, Chief, uh, <clears throat> um, Chief Judge, uh, uh, Chief Judge Frank McCartney of the 8th, 8th Judicial Circuit. Uh, in West in Illinois, <clears throat> um, hereby officially assigned an Adams County judge by the name of Robert Adrian. Robert Adrian is the person we need to name and shame here uh, uh, to small claims, legal matters, and probate dockets and other civil cases effectively immediately. Why did he get this uh, this reassignment? Because Robert Adrian threw out a sexual assault conviction of an 18-year-old man saying the f uh, 148 days the man spent in jail was punishment enough. Uh, <laughs> he oversaw a three-day trial. Um, and FYI, the sexual assault conviction, the guy raped a kid. The guy raped a kid. Like, that's 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 the, that's the deal here. The, the, the dude raped a kid. And well, you know, fucking the guy, the judge, th uh, the judge th threw it out for 148 days served. Um, what happened for what happened in this case? That is plenty of punishment. That would be a just sentence. So he's been a sp uh, reassigned to small claims. Um, he's he's, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A classmate, a much younger classmate, shall we say, as in. Some people are in high school at the same time, and some people are not exactly adults, and some people are kind of th situation. There you go. Uh, you're a kid. Yeah, 148 days served. Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, this, this, this just needs to be shown. This just needs to be shown. Uh, oh, my God, I read the sentencing uh, transcript, and the judge unironically pointed out the victim was drunk and had swam in her underwear as mitigating factors. Yep, there we go. Creepy, creepy. Um, have I got a steal for you guys? This is a quaint fixer upper uh, with two bathrooms. Um, though, you know, the, the bedrooms are sort of a, a, a do it yourself, knock down, tear down, um, situation. It's situated on a, uh, 2,158 square foot lot. Um, it is, it, it, it is definitely a, um, a throwback, um, house. Um, it just sold for 1.97 million. San Francisco caboose. That's why.
It's a steal. It is for twos. For four fucking 1.97 million? This is a steal. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Taver. I, I literally just have it separate from that. <clears throat> so I don't know. If it is, then makes sense. Uh Bush, it's the row houses. It's it's the 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 bright sky plus the row houses. Clear blue skies. Um, plus row houses usually equals San Fran. Um, I repeat, was there BDSM furniture included? No, no. You know what was included? Cockroaches and probably human feces from the last squ uh, squatter that was there. Yeah, so... Uh, let's see... Uh, what else do I have? <coughs> hey. Uh, if you are the Simon Aranzati that has an Instagram account, um, you do not look 18 and you are not allowed to be here if you aren't. Squatter living in luxury. I know, right? Hey, I think I can show that. I can show that. <sighs> Y'all want to make fun of a bitch? Let's make fun of a bitch. <laughs> I want to make fun of a Karen. Uh... There's the article about the house. It's a pre-1906 fire property. Good on it. Surrounded by multi-million dollar homes. Hang on, let's just do this again. Surrounded by multi-million dollar homes. That is a multi-million dollar home. That is a multi-million dollar home. Go fuck yourself. Um... I mean, it's on 2,100-ish square feet lot, but who knows how big the, the actual house is. Who the fucking knows? A uh, house is bigger than those houses and a tiny-ass cabin in the middle of the woods. I know, right? <clears throat> um, Yeah, I want to make fun of a Karen. So, we're going to do this. Give me a sec. Hey, this 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 bitch. Based on what we were doing last night, right? Like it, for those of you who were here last night for uh for that stream, dude, we did like an hour plus motivational fucking fitness stuff. Like it was honestly a really good stream. And the people who were here for it, no, I'm not fucking fomoing you. Um, the people who were here for it, honestly, like a bunch of them, like some of them started exercising like during the stream. Bunch of people, like I kicked their motivation in the ass. Um. So in light of like last night's stream, let's show what not to do and what to do. It's a good, um, this, this fucking twat whistle. What do you think he's doing? What do you think he's working? Really? Buffering? Buffering? <laughs> Give me a sec. Reddit's video player. Or is this me? No? No, it's Reddit. Valuated at like a ha how many billion dollars did they? Yeah, it's called a drag curl. It's called a drag curl. It just refuses to fucking load now. Oh, good old Reddit video player. <laughs> 
Every day I go to the gym and I'm buffering. Uh, let me see. See if I can just c cancel, delete. Yes, cancel, delete. Yeah, I can literally download it using my downloader faster than fucking Reddit. What do you think? Reddit's player will actually play it. I, they're, dude, they're fucking, the Reddit video player is hilariously bad. Um, here you go. <clears throat> what do you think he's doing? What do you think he's working? I don't know either. Okay, first off, let's just talk about filming other people in the gym. Right? Let's, let's, this, 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 this is bitch mode 101. Right? Like, don't, don't film other people in the gym. Let alone film other people in the gym to make fun of them. To put them on blast, right? This dude's in the fucking gym in the first place. Don't film people in the gym. Um, yeah, it's, it's a woman. Yeah, um, it's a woman, Karina. Um, don't put, don't film people in fucking, like, uh, oh, it's bicep. It isolates, uh, isolates the bicep and locks off the delts. But, uh, we, don't worry. We'll get to a guy who will explain that. Um, he does a really good job of just taking her down a fucking notch. But, like, let's let's talk about the, the fact of the matter is that, like, don't film people in the fucking gym, right? Like, put your goddamn phone down, and especially don't film people in the gym to put them on blast on your fucking Instagram TikTok bullshit, right? Nikki Fitness, by the way, she fucking, like, she she's already issued an apology video that blamed the fucking commenters and the viewers, not herself, and she put all of her comments on, like, locked and shit. She's a fucking total twat whistle. Either way, let's go back to it. What he's working is biceps. He's doing what's called a drag curl. Now, granted, most people do them with a barbell. He's doing them with dumbbells, so it may look a little strange, a little awkward, but it is a great movement. The point of it is, as you kick your elbows back and drag up along your body, you're taking stress off the deltoid, putting it all on the bicep. It's actually a great workout. Charles Glass, who's one of the best there is, is a big promoter of this exercise. But what's most important, what he's doing and working most of all, is minding his own business. The fact that people at the gym take videos of other people to try and make fun of them blows my mind. Be better than that. And a boy. Uh, Joey Swall. Joey Swall. Right? Like, the gym bros are always, like, the best people. I'm sorry. You see somebody that looks like that? You see those shoulders? You see, you see, those, you see those shoulders? All right? You see that shit? He is fucking jacked. That dude is jacked, right? Those gym bros that you see, fucking, he's, they're the best people. They're the best people. They want, they want the best for you. They want you to improve. They want you to like, you know, they, they actually will help you. Gym bros are some of the best fucking people in the gym. They're there to like assist you. They're, they'll answer questions. They'll, they'll fucking root you on from a distance. And like, you know, it, instead fucking yeah they get enough exercise so there's less pent up shittiness um yeah she she issued she issued her apology non apology on her fucking tiktok literally saying i wasn't even making fun of him i'm not kidding you by the way this is her fucking apology i wasn't even making fun of him in particular you guys pointed him out to me bitch you pointed at him like she literally points at him and goes, what is he doing? What is it? The entire point of the video is her putting this dude on blast. Oh, is that Joey? boy. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking jacked. He's fucking jacked. It's called a drag curl. Jerem, it's called a drag curl. Um, uh, of course it looks tight. He uh, has, he's probably dehydrated um, to give that kind of look uh, in the first place. And he has like 0% body fat and he is ripped beyond belief. Um, all right, so we got Karate Dog. We got the fucking thing. All right, we're good for tonight. Um, yeah. Uh, was he, I, I, out of curiosity, fucking, what do you think see that guy's form. He's doing, what do you, he's doing fast reps. Also, I would, I'd cant it a little bit. What's up, Mythic? 
Um, I'd cant it a little bit forward, but I mean, that's just because I would like to work the triceps a little more in that, uh, in that movement. But yeah, you lock your delts and you literally kick your elbows out and you drag up along the horizontal of your body. So keep your hands uh, in line with the horizontal of your body. Yeah. Um, Yeah, he's 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 in. We say zero percent body fat. He's he's probably kicking around something like five to seven percent. Um, it's really low. It's really low. To achieve those numbers is insane. Um, but no, he's he's he is diet and exercise and a few modified things as well. Um. is jacked uh my mental cue to say monkey on the eccentric range of the movement hey just the fact that you know the eccentric uh that you know that there's an eccentric portion of the movement uh he's a crypto bro yeah a lot of the gym bros are non minor a lot of the gym bros are it's it's just sort of something i've come to terms with a lot of the gym bros are it's there's there's significant overlap with um with like steroid community gym bro community and fucking crypto bro community um yeah, there's there's some overlap there. Also, definitely with like the alt right stuffy, um, he they they tend towards the sort of like libertarian, like I mean I get it I get it I get it right they're individualists usually like they they sat their ass in the fucking gym, and they did the work themselves. Nobody lifted the weights for them. You could argue that like you're the beneficiary of social knowledge and all these sorts of things. And then by the way, that's how I would attack that uh, problem if you were going to engage with one of these individuals. But you have to look at it from their point of view. Um, he, he, what's up, Al? He, he literally picked those weights up and did that himself. Right? Like there's, I get it. Like I understand why gym bros tend to be individualists slash right wing libertarians. Um, it, it, it's, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, his lats are insane, uh, non-binary, non-binary, um, that's what you're looking at there, by the way, that, that, that curvature on his tor upper torso, that's his lats, dude, his lat, his lats are insane, I mean, all of it's insane, but his lats are impressively big, um, yeah, so, I mean, I get it. I get why they tend that way or trend that way. All right. What else do I want to talk about? What else did I want to talk about? What else did I want to talk about? Um, I mean, Prince Andrew got fucked. And this time it wasn't, it was by the queen rather than a 13 year old <clears throat> stripped of military titles and charities. No longer uh, going by his royal highness. Like, you know, get fucked. Um, now, if they hang him out to dry, in, uh, dry entirely, I'll be impressed. It, the royal family will do things like take away his titles and shit like that. Um, what's up, Lada? Oh, uh, Lada. Um, but it's rare they actually hang one out to dry. If they hang him out to dry, I'll be impressed. Um, no, no, because he's incapable of sweating, Mythic, clearly. Wouldn't have, it wouldn't have shown in the least. Yeah, I'll, when, when it happens, let me know. That's Steve, <laughs> Steve with a Q. I remember that username. Um, let me know when it happens. This is sort of the situation. Like I could easily see him absconding to a, a non-extradition country pretty easily. So when it happens, I'll, I'll be there for it. Until then, I'm going to remain skeptical. Uh, what do you got? BBC boss says, Flat earthers are welcome in the name of impartiality. In a bizarre effort to showcase its stance on impartiality, a BBC director said he would platform flat earthers if enough people believed them. Why is this labeled flat earthers trans rights? Okay, fucking, I'm just going to search this. What is the fucking, all right. Uh, 
Giving evidence to the Lord's uh, Oh God, the Lord's fucking Lord's communication in digital community. Jordan said the corporation must represent all points of view, even if in, in, even if its commitment to the hard edge of impartiality trumps identity or offense, even when it comes to trans rights. Whether or not some members of our staff like it is not the point. They leave their prejudices at the jo door. All right, I still don't understand. Oh, they're anti-trans fucking... Okay, okay, okay. I get why this is all... So it was basically like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... We're gonna air the pro-trans, anti-trans, and, I mean, fuck, bring me a flat earther and I'll air him too. Right? Like, okay, I at least understand the argument now. I was like, why the fuck is that URL have, like, trans rights in it, it, it with the fucking flat earther shit? Like, I'm like, okay. It at least makes sense. It's... It's ideologically consistent. It's a... It's a... It's a stupid idea but it's at least ideologically consistent i i don't think it's positive but you know all i can ask for is consistency You may not like the BBC in your part of the world or for whatever reason, but I got to tell you, coming from somebody who's got like all corporate media and like PBS has just been whittled away and whittled away at, whittled away at my entire fucking life. I got to tell you, you should, you should be thankful for the BBC a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit, a little bit. Um, Martin Screlly. Yeah. I, you know what? I don't fucking care. Fucking Martin Screlly is like, he, he's... No, I don't think Martin Scarelli should pay a fucking cent. I don't think he should be convicted. I don't think he should have fucking done a second of time for it. How is he different than any other pharmaceutical executive? Explain to me how Martin Scarelli is different than any other fucking biotech, pharmaceutical, or medical industry CEO or executive. And explain to me why he is so atrocious and egregious of an offender that he needs to be singled out. No, he's their fucking, uh, he's their uh, goddamn sacrifice. fucking bullshit either i'm an all or nothing situation on this one like fucking you qu quit fucking rolling him out to the media like we oh hey we did something isn't it great fuck you hiv medication is still thirty five hundred dollars a fucking month insulin is hundreds of dollars depending on how uh, how many doses you need a month fucking uh like genomic uh um uh, like uh um blood disorders um for like infants Dude, we're talking millions a year, hundreds of thousands per month for those fucking treatments. It, you know, chemo is through the roof. Fucking IVIG, uh, intravenous immunoglobulin G therapy is $25,000 every four, f three to four weeks, right? Like, go fuck yourself. Oh, Martin Screlly was such a fucking horrible person. He, he jacked the rates on drugs. No, really? Wow, it's almost like that's pretty much what your entire fucking industry is about. Honestly, take them all back out and uh, take them all ba uh, out back and beat them with a fucking hose for all I'm concerned. I, 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 it's just, eh, fuck these people, Martin Screlly. Yeah, and by the way, whoever said that, like, because he ripped off a fucking rich person, that is it, by the way, that is it. He fucked with the wrong people. He fucked with the wrong people. It's that simple. If he had been ripping off poor broke motherfuckers that need to get their insulin from Walmart, he'd be fucking on his third yacht in the Mediterranean and nobody'd know his name. This motherfucker dared fuck around with uh, with white rich people. And guess what? He's doing hard time and he's gonna pay $64 million in restitution. You can suck my nuts, you pieces of shit. Bunch of insufferable bootlicking supplicants. There. Non-binary. How'd that rant feel to you? Uh, Might have gotten an award. Yeah, maybe a Nobel. Fuck these people. <laughs> yeah. 
you think I came? <laughs> Good on ya. Are you fucking? Oh, I can't even say what I want to fucking. Can't even say what I want to say about that one. Ugh, oh, fucking Twitch. The energy's been pretty interesting these past few streams. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm literally cat right, like right now. I'm using the spite and rage to like keep me moving, because I'm, I'm running on fumes right now. <laughs> I'm running on fumes. Ugh. Uh. By the way, Cat, you came in late. We did a we did a shake on air. I just got it prepared and like literally brought it back. It was you know, oh, oh. Anyway, hmm. Uh, so I'm using a hot key to sensor beep it. Uh, so you can just hit it on the fly. Yeah. That shake was off colored. <laughs> oh, you should see it when it starts drying then. I need to get some water in this cup. Oxidation. Uh, yeah, Co Carnage does that as well. Fucking he's got a he's got a self censorship beep. Um uh, Um, really non-binary. Why? How and why is he actually? Because I mean, let's face it. He's he's an Oxbridge, Oxbridge fucking. So it's this, I take it. Sure. There he's on thin ice according to the, the fucking <laughs> according to the cabinet ministry. He's 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 definitely on thin ice this time. If he, if he, if, you know, yeah, how often has he done? Exactly, Lulata. Fucking, let me know when he's actually ousted on his, fl uh, f uh, his naunt ass. Dude, that Ox Oxbridge crew, they're basically untouchable and we all know it. Yeah, he's, I, I'm with Puka. Yeah, I, 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 you know, let me know when it actually happens. Yeah, of course he held multiple po parties during lockdown. He's a fucking prime minister. He's above the law. He's above you peasants. Come on. Yeah, of course he held parties. I, I would have expected nothing else. Um, so, yeah. Huh. There we go. <laughs> it's the hair. It's like Samson. The wilder it is, the more untouchable. Fair enough. Uh, two people have uh, a large comprised, uh, go compromised in the sense of human people's moral or empathy with human suffering and seeing themselves in a way where they can have a critical role. I don't have any comments, Syndicus. I, I if you want like input on that, I sure. I mean, I don't disagree. I am not. Not today. It's Friday. Dude, we're just trying to churn through the fucking headlines so we can get to something more fun, frankly. Um, it's Friday. Dude, we, we all get fucking drunk and stoned uh, after this stream and go watch bad movies on the Discord server. <laughs> Gotta tell you, Fucking, we're all kind of philosophied out after last night. Um, yeah. Sorry, man. Don't know what to tell you. I, I, maybe if I... Let me get on a B12 in me here and maybe I will be but not at this moment uh.
Yeah, we 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 dude, we did uh we did a fucking long ass stream last night and then a long ass fucking Discord session afterwards. Honestly, if you have to discuss philosophy, you already failed. <clears throat> Uh, Wither, you here? Yeah, Wither's here. Um, fucking Wither, love seeing you to. I uh, love seeing. Um, love seeing you trying to and uh, do a uh, a Kantian. Um, with idealism and materialism, love seeing it. Uh, good luck. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't think you're gonna do it successfully. But I wish you all the best of luck. Love seeing it, by the way. Um. Oh. Uh, Sonaticus, uh, I will speak on the top. Uh, fucking, uh, whether you're not, you're, you're de summoned. <laughs> I, I said what I had to say. Um, Sonaticus, I will tell you, um, I, I've spoken at length numerous times about the circles of empathy and the depth of a depth of empathetic response vis-a-vis hey sidereal um vis-a-vis -vis the um individualistic versus communalistic societal structures and i mean like i said i don't there's really nothing to discuss on this channel at least because there's not going to be many two people that disagree with you unless there's some nuance in there that i'm not you know teasing out from you know your limited input um but yeah Agreed. All right, one word doesn't help me. Like, mysticism. Like, is that your... Is that the problem? Is that the cure? Is that the name of your your next, e, uh, your next EP? So it's like, you know. One word response is not usually that useful. Uh, I think now that her husband is gone, the queen is dropping the hammer on her son once and for all. I think daddy protected him until now. Yeah, because daddy was probably a fucking diddler too. I'm just saying, the guy was creepy looking. <laughs> Reduce. Accordion. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Missed it. <clears throat> Mysticism, brought to you by Gwyneth Paltrow. How dare you! Mysticism is the name of my favorite stripper. Needing a B12, real shit, Kai. Yeah, I know, right? Right, Corey? How you doing, Corey, by the way? What's up, man? You doing okay? My fucking neuropathy's been killing me the last, last couple of days, I gotta tell you. It's, it's flaring. It's reacting to proteins that I use on a daily basis. It's it's not good when this this sort of shit happens when it starts reacting to proteins. Oh, it's very difficult to do what I need to do if I can't intake high levels of protein. It's it's a whole thing. Um, strip club my bestie used to manage had a stripper named Velveeta. Still can't get over that one. That's a fucking. You know what? I like it. I respect it. That's a solid name for a stripper. Velveeta. Uh, fucking Cassidy, I ain't, I ain't, dip, I ain't dabbling in that shit. I've seen, I've, I, I've heard about it. I've looked at it. And like, no, just no, Cassidy. Like, no. Um, but you know, yeah. Um. Fertus, you thought Velveeta was a hair removal brand. That's adorable. That's adorable. It's it's a cheese stuff. It's 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 cheese adjacent. They claim it's cheese. Uh, I've 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 seen claims. Uh, it's a cheese like product. <laughs> Glasgow and Las Vegas has a lot in common. The two places on earth I can trade chips for sex. Ah. Uh. 
right back. Well, no, I don't disagree for juice. Uh Medialism. Um, no idea, non-binary. Why? Because your brother put on the wrong sock this morning. Fair enough. Uh, oh, and fucking while we're talk while we're talking about our, our friends from across the pond. Are you okay over there? Like, is 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 the UK okay? Do we need to have a talk? Like, y'all good? How do you know your sperm count is too high? Partner has to chew before they swallow. Just for you, beast. Well, I don't get to have any guns. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I still think the best insult I've ever heard slung at a British person was, yeah, you're just Americans who chose knives over guns. Still my favorite. Let's see. Oh, interesting. I'm going to save that. Uh, oh, um, fucking, what's the deal with the fucking douchey tennis player? Like, what, what the fuck is that all about? Jesus Christ, I keep seeing those goddamn headlines. One, I can't say this dumbass's name because it's one of those names. Uh, DJ VK fucking, it's like, I don't fucking know what I'm supposed to say here. Um, fucking, yeah, Novak. We'll go with that. Um, <laughs> Novak's. Yeah, like he's getting deported from Australia. Do you know how do you know how difficult it is to get kicked out of Australia? Jesus Christ. Djokovic Djokovic. Djokovic. Okay. I, I so the fucking managed to get his ass tossed out of Australia. Like, <laughs> that's that's an impressive level of like fuck around and find out. Getting deported from Australia is like getting expelled from a maximum security prison. Aspen for <clears throat> for what? Oh, he fucking he refused to get vaccinated. He lied on his immigr like his immigration or his visa papers, not immigration. He lied on his visa papers. Um, 
And so, like, yeah, they're like, dude, he fucking lied on his visa paperwork. Like, you, like they gave him, like, a bunch of opportunities to fix the situation. Apparently, he's completely anti-vax. Like, completely. Not just, like, COVID va- vaccination. He's, like, anti-vax. Like, he's apparently, like, across the board a douchebag. Like, somebody, somebody had a list of the shit this motherfucker has gotten up to in his, his career. And it's, it's, it's not a short list. It's a very long list. It's like, holy fuck. Oh, no, wait, that may have been the basketball player. I think the long list was the basketball player. I'm sorry, sports ball people. They're all kind of the same in my head. So. Uh, Oh, God. Well, yeah, the nightmare moment. Yeah, I did see that, Zippy. Uh, The nightmare moment when the uh, tankies and the um, the word we're not allowed to use, apparently. But the, those who uh, don't get nookie, right? The that the nightmare moment when tankies and the nookie list collide. God help us. God help us all. I bet he watches Hazzy Two Holes. This feels like one of Haz's team. <clears throat> yeah. This 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 feels Shut up, Caboose. <laughs> Sexually, it, sexual encounter challenged. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. This is seven news. Yeah, I don't care. Get to the get to the thing. There it is. All right, cool. You have the footage. We're gonna watch it. Um. <clears throat> so. A cop tried to stop a sergeant from using excessive force on a call in the field. And well. Police released this body camera video to seven investigates after a tip led us to ask about a November 19th incident. Citing an ongoing internal affairs investigation, the department turned off the sound and obscured almost all the faces, except for one, Sergeant Christopher Police. When he went up and put his hand on her throat, what was your reaction? I, I, I find this behavior to be uh, disgusting. Um, I think the video speaks for itself. I find this behavior to be uh, be disgusting. Of course, <clears throat> we didn't really do much about it until the news came knocking with an investigation. You notice that they, the, the reporter says up front that we got a tip to ask for this footage in particular, right? They blurred everybody's faces but one, right? Like, they're always terribly disgusting. Uh Uh-huh. Fucking, yeah. (laughs) So, they pulled him off the streets, not 
after the November 19th incident. They pulled him off the streets after the news agency started investigating the incident. Now they're saying due to the ongoing internal affairs investigation, we have to turn off the sound and obscure the faces. Like if they, if, if none of this came to light, yeah, he's got other incidents of, uh, excessive use for, uh, excessive, uh, use of excessive force on his, uh, in his jacket as well. Um, cleared on both counts, of course. Um, but yes. Um, well, I mean, credit where credit's due. The the interviewer that got a hold of the chief of police asked some interesting questions, at least. Um, if one of us had ever grabbed an officer by the throat, we would be arrested. We would be put in jail. Why is that not happened with him? Just straight up, the reporter's just like, why ain't he in jail, homie? So there's some details of the investigation that I've not disclosed that I'm unable to disclose right now. And if any of the information that comes up during the investigation rises to the level of criminal behavior or criminal conduct, then we'll address it appropriately. Yeah. <sighs> Everybody ready? You're gonna, you're gonna. You ready? Elon Musk brilliantly explains why billionaires should not pay any taxes. Hashtag Elon Musk, hashtag tax, hashtag shorts. Like if you think of assets beyond a certain level um, that, that are far beyond, uh, let's say, somebody's ability to consume, then, you know, at a certain point, really what you're doing is capital allocation. So you're, you're not, it's not money for personal expenditures. It's, it's it, what you're doing is, is capital allocation. And it does not make sense to take uh, the, the job of capital allocation away from people who have demonstrated great skill in capital allocation and give it to uh, you know, an entity that has demonstrated very poor skill in, in capital allocation, which is the government. Hey, Elon, don't you have like billions in government subsidies? Uh, I mean, you can think of the government essentially uh, as a corporation in the limit. Uh, it, it is, it is a, the government is simply the biggest corporation with a monopoly on violence and, with, and where you have no recourse. Can so how much money do you want to give part? that entity? Marcus. Low rent bond villain. He's did nothing low rent about that shit. He's an expensive bond villain. Honestly, (sighs) 
being a, I, look puka i'll tell you right now what it is because i've experienced it myself in my life right once you have enough money to like say like not participate anymore right for at least for a minute like i i got a buddy who fucking like works hard for like a couple of years and then takes a year off works hard for a couple of years takes a year off right and in that year he lives like any other rich or wealthy person would um when you have the the ability to just like check out of society like it, like money truly provides you in that in that regard you don't give a shit you don't give a shit like you just don't give a shit you ever seen how bill gates dresses right you ever seen how fucking jeff bezos acts and dresses dresses right like there is a there's a there's a sort of there's a thing that happens um i wear pajama bottoms all the time out in public like yeah like, why the fuck would he give a fuck, a fuck? Why would he give a fuck about his hair? Like, honestly, like, I, I, you know, I dress like a fucking slob all the time. Why? Because it's comfortable and nobody can tell me otherwise. I don't have a, anybody to answer to. I have no job to fucking, like, tell me to, like, oh, you should dress like that. No, fuck off. Right? Like, it's, it's just, it's the ability to check out of societal norms. And money allows you that. Yeah. <laughs> Mosh. Uh, oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm good on that. Oh, Puka, just criticize him for being a douche then. I mean, you know, and I mean, feel free to make fun of the goofy ass hair. Rising wages are the biggest threat to earnings and corporate misery is correlated to higher labor costs, Bank of America says. Oh, well, thank you, Bank of America. Yeah, this isn't this isn't the hung out to dry that I'm looking for non-binary. We already knew this. This is I literally talked about this at the top of that, talking about fucking good old Andrew. Yeah, they yanked his fucking titles. Um this isn't the, I, let me, get back to me when they actually hang him out to dry. That's not being hung out to dry. Let me know when they ship his ass off to, to face charges. Not some civil case. Let me know when he actually has to face fucking charges. Um. Yeah, that's fucking, yeah, we already knew that. He lost his titles. Big deal. He can't refer to himself as His Royal Highness anymore. Oh, woe is me. Um. He's got, he's got access to cash. If you don't think he hasn't been squirreling away millions his entire life, I, I don't... I don't know what to tell you, right? Like, it, he's sitting on assets for sure. Millions and millions of dollars worth of assets. Uh, Marcus, I doubt it is. Yeah, I know, right, Caboose? Yeah, like Bank of America from... from, from. Um, Marsh, do you not know the deal with the uh, the Mars trilogy? 
Elon is the e- Elon is the title of um, the the uh, the r- first ruler of Mars. It's the it's 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 the king of Mars. That's that's literally what from the Kim uh, Kim Stanley Robinson uh, Mars trilogy books. Um, Elon is the, the the name given to the first ruler of Mars. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, I sold a chalet. Oh, Lord. What what shall he ever do without his chalet? Um, he certainly used royal funds for that and other shit. He can now use to fund his defense. Yeah, like, it, honestly, like... His $23 million Swiss chalet. Ah, yes, yes. What shall he ever do without his $23 million Swiss chalet? I mean, really. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a hovel. It's a bit of a fixer upper. I, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not that impressed. <laughs> Gord, thanks, thanks for the uh, the prime sub, man. Uh, thanks for the Daddy Bezos bucks. Yeah, it's a real shithole. I mean, really, for $23 million, It's a bit of a fixer-upper. Does anybody have high-resolution photos of this place? Nobody has high-resolution photos of this goddamn place. Oh, God, it's fucking... Dude, it's, it's literally surrounded by... Oh, God. It's such... It's shit... It's shit. Wait till you see this. It's surrounded by other chalets. It's literally surrounded. There is no privacy, Bobby. Bobby, there ain't no privacy up in here. Look at this shit. That's, that's, that's his right there. That's the, that's the 23 million. Yeah, this is basically a condo complex. This is shit. For 23 goddamn million dollars, I better not have a fucking neighbor I can throw an orange at. No, Peaky. Just just that one. Hold on. Just, just this one right here. Yeah, like this is, this is some bullshit right here. 23 goddamn million dollars? Yeah. I don't want to see a fucking neighbor at that price either. Holy fuck, man. That is shit. It was, Aspen. It was. Oh, here's here's a better... It's still a low-resolution internal. The hardship for the Royals is a lot of work to get underage girls up there. Yeah, I mean, you know, I gotta helicopter them in. It's fucking, oh god, such a, such, it's so much work. Yeah. I, do I think goddamn billion dollars for that piece of shit? I'd be fucking livid. I'd be livid. Oh, if I had lawyer or hush money like that, I'd want to throw some oranges at my neighbors. I mean, okay, so this has been my, like, I've had this one for ages. If I had, like, chic money, right? If I had, like, oil chic money, my thing, I'd be knocking people's phones out of their hands. It's just a pet peeve. Um, Like, you're walking around in the store and somebody's just, like, on their phone and they're not watching one where they're going and shit, I would just smack their phone to the fucking ground. And then I'd have a butler behind me hand them like $10,000 in cash. Right? Like that's, that's just, just fucking smack 
and I'd just be walking through like public places, just smacking fucking phones to the ground. It's just 10 grand, 10 grand, 10 grand, 10 grand, right? Like that would just be, a, I, this is a thing. That's just, that'd be a Saturday for me. I would do it all the time, but you know, yeah, it's always been my thing. I'm like, you know, I'd, I'd just go around smacking phones out of people's hands and just hand them 10 K in cash. Cause. Ugh. Yeah, chic money. Yeah, chic money does mean I could bone saw the, the 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 phone out of their hand. But oh, uh, uh, I know a med student wanted to pit two pregnant women in a fight, and neither leaves the arena until one eats the other baby. I don't know if he should be a doctor. That's what happens after med school, Marcus. Dude, twist your fucking head. Um, stories with the Mars kids go to for fun. Sick shit. Yeah. Uh, you can smack my phone for 10 grand. Exactly. I, I don't think there's a single person out there that wouldn't be like, yeah, you can smack the phone out of my hands for 10 grand. Like, yeah. <laughs> Highest paid YouTube stars. Just give me the list. Jesus. Goddamn Christ. I'm sorry, is this a seven-year-old making $28 million a year? All right, one, just fuck Mr. Beast, right? Until he pays me some huge amount of cash, like he's just a horrible human being. Oh, by the way, that Mr. Beast burger is exploitative as fuck. Fuck uses non-licensed, non, non uh, like non-licensed kitchens as sort of pop-ups and share spaces, and the burgers are shit. They're shit. So many bad reviews of those burgers. Fuck him and his exploitative bullshit, fucking capitalist cash grab fast food crap. Absolute crap. It's it's utter crap. Fuck him. Um, you know what? I'm warming up on Jake Paul. He's still an asshole, but you know what? He picks on Dana White and I like him for that. Um, I literally don't know who Markiplier is at this point and I'm not afraid to ask. I just don't give a shit. Like I literally don't give a shit about whoever the fuck this person is. I have no idea who Markiplier is and why anybody knows who the fuck he is. Um, I at least know who these two lame fucks are. That makes sense to me. I have no idea who or what unspeakable is. It, I, I don't know what the fuck they're up to. Um, this is the one that freaks me the fuck out. This, this is a seven-year-old that's making $28 million a year. I don't fucking know if he's a rapist. Are y'all in the fucking court kit? I don't fucking know. Fucking let me know when you guys fucking are in the courtroom and you know the evidence like I don't I don't fucking know whether he is like I said I'm warming up to him just because he picks on Dana White I'm like I don't know shit about shit about the rest of it fucking 28 million dollars oh god she's a Russian immigrant Oh, Jesus Christ. Brand extension, merchandise line, and an NFT collection of a fucking seven-year-old drawn in 87 and a half million subscribers to her channel. Jesus goddamn Christ. Jesus, fuck me. Oh, oh, we got another fucking, oh. F yeah, he started on YouTube at the tender age of four. Oh, yeah, that's definitely fucking 20. This is, dude, this is, okay, I know who the fuck, okay. Can we, can we just, this is just, this is just, this is child abuse, right? This is child abuse. This is child abuse. Um, Dude, perfect. All right, I got no, I got, I got no hate for them. Um, Fucking. I hate you already. I don't know who he is. I have no idea who this person is. I literally, this is the first time I've ever seen him. I literally hated him the second I saw him here. I hate this person. I don't know who they are. Yeah, like right out of the gate. I'm like, I hate everything about you. 
Um, I, I would despise talking to this person. Well, that was a depressing list. That was everything wrong with the world, pretty much in a nutshell. Somebody explain to me, Mr. Beast. So, so can somebody, somebody explain to me what the fuck is Mr. Beast? How does he make so much money? Where is his money coming from? I, I still, cat. I still, I don't, I don't know who the fuck Markiplier is. I have no idea who that person is and why they exist. I, I, I don't know who Markiplier is, and it's not that I'm afraid to ask. I literally just don't give a shit at this point. Like, I don't know who the fuck Markiplier is, but somebody explain to me who or where or why. What is Mr. Beast? Where the fuck does his cash come from? Why is this motherfucker? The first time I ever heard of him, it was he was giving away $10,000, like, to everybody. Just like, he was just going around to streams, handing out $10,000 at a pop. Who is he? Where does his cash come from? Who's paying him? Fifty-four fucking million dollars a year. Who the fuck is this asshole? <laughs> I'll be the nephew of the guy who made the room. Uh, my guess, rich dad. I, I, I legitimately, I, I have no idea who the fuck he is. Oh, you're back. Oh, you're back. Oh, it's adorable. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Come on the air and have the conversation or just like stop spoiling our fun. Um, either, either actually own up to your ideolo ideological like beliefs and come debate them, come argue them, come discuss them, come have, come engage in the dialectical exercise and use rhetorical device to defend your position rather than just shit in your monkey-like mitt from a distance through the, the the cage bars, right? Like, actually fucking participate or just get lost. Uh, my guess is a CIA, but hey, Saul Foster. Uh, he drops into Twitch chats and pays single number Andy thousands. Yeah, I have, I have films the reaction and makes his money back via ad revenue in 30 minutes. All right. Um... Markiplier is basically OG gameplay YouTuber. Very positive on stuff like mental health, gay rights, etc. It's generally very wholesome and does a bunch of charity. All right. I'm okay with that. I still want to know who the fuck Mr. Beast is, though. I want to know where that cash came from. Where, where did all that startup cash come from? Because that was the first time I ever heard about him was he was just handing it out. Um, Kat, did you watch the, uh, did you watch the video of the, uh, the back, uh, black basketball player in China? That's dude, that's happening everywhere he goes now. That's the first video. <laughs> Juicy slots all around. Uh, Mark Paul's will just be vanilla as possible in some psychological tricks. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. And as long as he's a nice guy, I don't give a shit about it. Um, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, God. Walmart fucking. Uh. His main channel is, oh, he runs a loss leader. Market of Oh, okay. Brand deals. Okay. And Honey, which is owned by PayPal. Started doing 24 hour challenge. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing I'm seeing I'm seeing the sponsorships. Oh, did that little bitch boy run away? Did he ever respond? 
Never responded. He just likes to he just likes to hurl turds from from his monkey cage. Got it. Sorry, uh, sorry, Zippy. I'm fucking ape cage. Take your fucking pick. Um. <laughs> uh, I I don't know the guy's fucking name off the top of my head, Cassie. I'd have to go looking. Um, but basically, a uh, um, a, a black a black player in the Chinese basketball league got into a fight with a Chinese player. Um, and well, let's just say the Chinese people are um, handling it with the grace and tact that the uh, that the uh, the, the Chinese African relations are justifiably world renowned for yeah everywhere he's going now they're chanting the n word at him oh jesus nonsense Oh, that's classy as fuck. Um, that's Chinese as fuck. Dude, they're racist as fuck towards black people. They're racist as fuck. You don't understand. It's the people's racism. Yeah. Dude, they, they're they racist as fuck towards black people in that part of the world. Um, like, Deep South 1920s racism. Um... Uh, I wonder what my anti-imperialist pro-China friend has to say about this. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, you know, <laughs> friend. Yeah. It, it's. No, I don't remember. I, nonsense. No, I don't even know if I knew. Those are all CIA agents. Yes, exactly. Those are all CIA agents. It's, just, it's everything. Everything's a CIA agent now. All Chinese people are CIA agents. All black people are CIA agents. Um... Everything is a CIA agent. <laughs> no. Wither, they're not. They're doing it in English. Straight up. <laughs> oh, we're all CIA agents. On this blessed day, we're all CIA agents. Um... Yeah, it, it's it's everywhere this guy goes. He gets off a fucking he gets off a bus. They start yelling the N word at him. Cassidy, that video. Wow. No, yeah. The, if, if he sets foot anywhere in public right now, the the Chinese public are just chanting the N word at him. It's fucking ridiculous. There's a great there's a great video of him stepping off a bus, and they're just immediately. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But, oh, uh, also, for those of you that are involved um, with, it, with, like, for those of you who know the, the, the like, latest Marxist fucking bullshit discourse that um, hypotheticals are idealists, which are anti-Marxist. So if you work in hypotheticals, it's anti-Marxist. Just so you know, um, here, I'm going to put the, I, look, this is, this is a fucking ugly photo, um, but I'm going to put it in shared content. Um, I'm going to spoiler it just because it's a fucking ugly ass photo. Um, and I'll put the description so you have it as well. Um, in 1966, during the Cultural Revolution, the Red Guard broke into the mausoleum of the Wanli Emperor. It was the longest reigning emperor uh, of uh, during uh, uh, during the Ming Dynasty of China, um, and set his body on fire and started destroying shit because it is the belief of the the Maoists and the traditionalist Red Guards that Chinese culture and history itself was anti-communist. So I just want to proposition this. Actual Maoist Red Guards burned, burned one of their former emperor's bodies in the name of anti-communist rhetoric because history itself was anti-communist. So I just want to put it out there. Anytime in the future that an ML talks about any historical event, era, timeline, just charge them with being anti-Marxist and anti-communist and call it a day. 
and feel free to reference that photo, feel free to reference that event, and just point out to them that in fact, bigger dick communists than themselves have stated unequivocally that history is anti-communist. So any reference to historical reference must be anti-communist. So, so you know, if you're ever debating an ML, if you're ever debating a Maoist, you have to understand, just, just throw it back in their face and be like, you cannot fucking talk about this stuff because history is anti-communist. Uh, hey, Akka. Shit, didn't see the video till now. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, you know, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, like I said, Chinese people are, like, infamously racist towards, well, a lot of people. But, like, black people especially. Like, it's, it's like old school American racism over there. Like, right now. Um, it's, but remember, it's the people's racism. So, it's okay. Uh, it's just people are finding it on their own. Red. Um, it's in sh I'll put it in shared content if you want it. Go to shared content on the Discord server. If you can you can see one of the videos. No, Praxis's theory put into act uh, put into action and reflected upon. This is just Loki trolling fucking Marxists. That's it. It's just to make their life more difficult. That's it. That's it, goat. It's just to make their life more difficult. Um, as they do so for anarchists. What's up, Jack? I've, 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 I've given up on the meme of left unity, goat. Doesn't exist. Communists have been murdering anarchists for generations now. Um, they're constantly on our case at the very least, and at most, they round us up by the thousand and execute us. So why should I pretend to play nice with these people? Right? Like they defend nation states that commit genocide. Like, yeah, they need us till they can put us in the ditch. Like, fuck them. I, I think, yeah, I'm with Zippy. That is Praxis, right? Loki trolling fucking Marxists at this point is Praxis. Making their lives more difficult is Praxis. Yeah. And like, it, it's, dude, they constantly... How many fucking, how many fucking MLs, how many fucking MLs have, th have sent death and rape threats to people in this community, right? Like collectively, how many fucking death and rape and just the worst heinous fucking comments about our character, about our parents, about uh, how we are a waste of blah, 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 blah. Like how many of these fucking people have just absolutely like gone off? on people in this community over like the last like year, two years, whatever, right? Like they're the worst fucking people, right? So fuck them. I'm done pretending. If they engage in de halfway decent, like good faith, I, I, you know, fine. We got plenty that I, I welcome and Oh, the uh, tradition, uh, classical tanky versus neo tanky. Well, was the, the, and the classical tankies actually aren't that bad. It's the neo tankies that are the issue. Um, I just got a notice for oh, driver updates. And also just conservatives that want to sound more worker focused. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I'm done pretending. They come into the community all the time. They're agitators. They fucking constantly shit on people. They have the most heinous things to say about their fellow proletariat, right? Anarchists are part of the proletariat, right? Like even, <clears throat> even if you're like a counter-revolutionary, the idea is to educate, right? The idea is to convert. <clears throat> no, no, what do they do? They immediately start with like death threats, rape threats. They start calling pedo uh, calling you a pedophile or a necrophile or like, yeah, within the last couple of months, I've had like, fuck all these people. Fuck them. 
something, something working with fascists to put down the FAI during the Spanish Civil War. Um, fucking, like, communists have killed, communists have killed more anarchists than any other group. You know that, right? Capitalists can't even hold a candle to the amount of anarchists that, ha uh, that have been killed by communists. If there is like if there's a prioritization list, if there's a if there's a fucking like a, a, a list of like who is the most dangerous and deadly groups, two anarchists, communists run away with the list. Capitalists don't even get close. They're not even fucking close. So like as far as I'm concerned, as like a modern day anarchist who has studied the history of the anarchist movements to some extent. Like, yeah, I'm done pretending. Like, they're not our allies. They're not our friends. They're not our comrades. Dude, they put a fucking bullet in the back of our skull the, the minute they have a chance to. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tavern, I don't, yeah, they do somewhat, yeah. Oh, dude, Corey, didn't they do correct that? I'm fucking, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I think some sense and myself both could have figured out what you meant there, but I feel you. Uh, what is even is an ML? An ML is somebody who identifies as a Marxist Leninist and has never read Marx or Lenin. Um, and if they claim to have read it and then you bust out the Marx uh, or Lenin and ask to go through it with them, they will pivot they will attempt to what about, and they will then um, just insult you some more. Yeah. The simp hard for Stalin? Dude, fucking. Oh, that Stalinist revision, uh, Stalinist revisionism towards Marx. Okay. What spurned the name change, I suppose. Um, it's not very comradely of them. Yeah, well. Uh, level, I'm done playing. I'm legitimately done playing. Like, when have they been allies? Right? Like, we've literally gone into battle for them before. What did it get us? It got us the artillery shelling of one uh, of the anarchist club in Moscow. It got us declared uh, persona non grata at the state level. It got us machine gunned in the streets. It got us rounded up and executed in mass in the woods. It got us burned in burn pits in China. Right? Like, when have they ever ever actually been allies of the anarchist movement ideology people anarchists in general when we 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 go into literal battle side by side these motherfuckers and they put a bullet in the back of our skull the minute we're not looking fuck them i'm done playing um it's been this way for like a year maybe more yeah it's been more than a year now that the camera's been changed. Um, it got changed last end of Dece end of last December. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been over a year now. Um, the lighting's been changed a lot. Uh, Stalin, if anything, was a great backroom politician, and when the Soviet Union could have outplayed him in a power struggle, I mean, he, yeah, he was arguably good at what he did. I mean, you know, he's a genocidal fucking maniac who needed to be put down like the rabid dog he was. But also, he's, uh, he's fucking banging 14 year olds. He's banging, banging 14 year olds. You know, I mean, Stalin would have gotten along great with libertarians. Let's just put it that way. It's not pedophilia, it's hemophilia. So, yeah.
No, you notice I didn't say communism, goat. I said communists. Yeah, we'll tolerate the anarchists. It's like, yeah, go fuck yourselves. Honestly, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of... Yeah, why why should I why should I pretend at any point these people have been allies? Oh, ANCOMs just need to pick a fucking team. I'm done with them too. If you're an ANCOM, pick a fucking team. Yeah. Like I get the end stage of anarchism can definitely look like a stateless, cashless, you know, society that is you know, very much along the lines of communism. We had very similar end goals, but you will never get there via communism. You will never get there. You will not get to a stateless cash, uh, stateless society um, by using the state that way. Like pick a fucking team, pick a fucking team. If you're, if you want the communism, then pick anarchism. Right? Like, if you want that, then pick anarchism because that's the only way you're going to get there. And China, Russia, Vietnam, North Korea, they've all fucking proved it over and over again. The only route to it, it it's definitely not communism. Centralizing authoritarian communism is not going to get you what you want. All the time, Caboose. All the time. They fucking couch it and they fucking reframe it and they'd like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Like pick a fucking team, right? Like if, if it's like, oh, I'm an ANCOM. Are you an anarchist or are you a communist? Because these are the, the end goals of anarchism look very similar to communism, but the method by which you are going to achieve it are hundred percent different. They're, they're diametrically opposed to one another. So pick one. Yeah, Kubo literally butchered anarchists. Like, yeah, I'm fucking over it. Like, I, this last couple of months, I've decided I'm done playing. I'm done, like, giving giving quarter. Right? Like, they have has anybody ever listened to how, like, has he two holes and fucking tankies and fucking, like, any of the, 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 the like, left subreddits? Have you ever fucking talked to these people as an anarchist? Because I certainly have. Dude, they wish us the worst. They wish us the absolute worst. They tell us how we are the scum of the earth. They tell us how we are a waste of air. They tell us how our mothers should have been raped to death. I'm not kidding you. I've had multiple fucking tankies, multiple MLs tell me my mother should have been raped to death. Yeah, Cassidy's got the messages to fucking prove it at this point. Like, fuck these people. Right? Like, I, I'm. why should I even begin to pretend that I would ally with these people who actively wish me harm. Fuck them. Fuck their ideology. Their ideology is shit too. Oh, you know what? I'm, I've got a bullet wound in my foot. You know what might fix it? More bullet wounds in my foot. Oh, we've got a problem with centralizing authoritarian status structures. You know what might help our centralizing authoritarian status structures? More centralizing authoritarian status structures. How dumb do you have to be to think that's the solution to something? Fucking, hey, I've got a problem with the Black Plague. It's consuming my body. You know what might help it? More Black Plague. You have to be functionally de functionally deficient to think that that's a possibility even. So pick a fucking team or get the fuck off the ride. I'm over it. No. No liberation. <laughs> But this time it's for the people. Yeah, and then they install a vanguardist uh, uh, committee and you're like, hey, why is that committee elevated above the people? What, how, how is that, how is that I equal and equitable for society when you're b rebuilding a class structure? Oh, but this is the people's class structure. You fucking dummies. Marx's analysis of capitalism is one of the most prescient and uh, insightful analyses of capitalism that exist. Flat out. His solution is the work of a dummy.
the work his solution is the work uh oh no it's the demon i don't know if that was the voice you were after um, it's the work of somebody who wanted, he was a fucking lawyer for fuck's sake. Marx was a fairly well-to-do lawyer whose family owned a vineyard. Do you think this person really wanted to shuffle off his class structure? He was, he was fairly well content. Engels lent him money anytime he needed it. Engels was well-to-do. Engels was well off. When Marx had squandered most of his cash and was languishing in uh, in a bit of poverty, all he had to do was write to Engels and Engels would send him cash. Oh. Yep, sorry. Engels was his pay pig. He was. Um... Let's see. Maybe the solution is to centralize power so hard it becomes a black hole. Yes. As the wise Carlin once said, look at how dumb the average person is. Now realize half of them are not even that smart. Paraphrased. <sighs> yeah, anybody who's dismissive of post-left anarchism, I'm suspicious of too. Was Marx gay? No. No. He just fucking, he knew, he knew cash when he got it. <sighs> what do you mean? What do you mean, what's the deal? It's a, uh, it's an anarchist critique of leftist ideologies. It, that's literally what it is. It's it's a critique of the leftist space as an anarchist. That's it. You, you, you just like, okay, what does the anarchist uh, lens of analysis tell us about leftist spaces? Well, it tells us that they use a regimented, structuralized system that uses substitutionalism and professionalism, which engage, uh, which uh, ultimately engages in a class structure and becomes a, uh, a pseudo-state-like class structure uh, within our own movements. And so it is, you know, it's, what's the deal? You know, yeah, fucking, fucking Jerry Seinfeld shit level comedy. What's the deal with airline food? Fuck you, Jerry. Um, fuck, and, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it entirely. Like, why should I even pretend to play nice with these people? Um, like, I, I, I have had, I can count on a, I'm not kidding you. I can count on a single hand the amount of, on Twitch, the amount of interactions. Oh, that's, a, uh, that's uh, uh, post-anarchism is an entirely different thing than that, Walata. Um, uh, the long and short of it is post-anarchism is you are always an anarchist. You just didn't realize it yet. Um, I can count on a single hand the amount of positive interactions I've had with people who identify themselves as MLs slash tankies on Twitch. I'm not kidding you. On a single hand, it's probably about four. Um, I'm not even, I haven't even used a full hand yet. It's not even a full five yet. The, the, the amount of bad faith, horrific interactions I have had with people who, who bring up marks immediately or you need to read more theory i'm an ml or i fucking mentioned fucking soviet russia or fucking it, it, ccp right the amount of like actual positive interactions it's less than one hand i've had i why should i begin to pretend these people are welcome in anarchist spaces at this point they are i have a wither said i have one and i found they were shitty later yeah they're terrible people. They're terrible people because they're authoritarians. The, the whole lot of them are authoritarians. They're, they're the same thing that's wrong with fucking capitalism. They're the same things that's wrong with neoliberalism. They're the same thing that's wrong with monarchism. It's absolutely ridiculous at this point to pretend otherwise that somehow we can, as anarchists, can have a productive relationship with these people.
I'm not sure I would, Exel. As somebody who's an avowed and known anarchist, I'm not entirely sure I would prefer Marxist Leninism over the status quo because the Marxist Marxism Leninism instituted means a bullet in the back of my head. So like I I'm I'm not I'm not sold on that. Right, like the the capitalists want me dead along with everybody else. Like they will grind me and fucking use me for, you know, the the meat grinder sort of thing. The MLs have a tendency to put bullets actively in the back of anarchist heads. Like, so I'm not 100% sure on that choice. I, 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 you know, yeah. Given the amount of these fuckers that have literally told me they would, they would execute me, that they would gulag me, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sold. I'm not sold. I think I, I think I might be worse off in a Marxist Leninist society than I am in a neoliberal capitalist society. I legitimately believe that at this point. It, it's, they, they've, like I said, the numbers aren't even close. They're not even fucking close. The amount of cap, uh, the amount of anarchists that have been killed, uh, that have been like extrajudicially or ex uh, or just even judicially assassinated or uh, executed by capitalists or neoliberals or even hell even monarchists uh, compared to communists, not even close. Several orders of magnitude difference. I don't know, Jack. What started anything? Right? We were talking about China, and I went off on a fucking tangent and a rant. Uh. Oh, Axel. Well, you know, maybe there, Axel. Um, yeah, I'm done pretending for them. I'm done pretending for the like under the auspices and the fucking he uh, the header of fucking leftist unity. There's never been leftist unity. It's a fucking myth. Get over it. It's why the right keeps winning. <clears throat> it's not, dude, and it's not because anarchists don't play ball. We have a historic fucking reputation uh, on uh, for for working with, right? We fucking work with MLs. We've worked with fucking communists. We've worked with the syndicalists. We get along with the syndicalists. We've worked with like we will work with any of these fuckers. And what does it get us? What does it net us at the end of the day when we're not fucking looking? That's what it gets us. So, like. At what point is it behoove the the anarchist milieu to learn our lessons from our history, to learn from our, our anarchist like forefathers and foremothers, right? Like our brothers, our anarchist brothers and sisters of the past that literally were executed by communists. I, I don't like, isn't that the definition of insanity? I mean, not literally, I know this, but isn't that the definition of insanity? Like doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results? Well, how is it gonna be different this time? Explain to me how it's gonna be different this time. Yeah, I know, right? At least syndicalists don't tell me to kill myself. Um, Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't, dude, uh, Tim Vander, fucking, I don't, dude, nobody gives a shit about the presidential election. It will, it will happen, and whatever brand they install in that office will fucking, like, you know, <laughs> it will be business as usual, right? It, it will take on the flavor and the tone of whatever team fucking whether it's the blue team or the red team that gets put in there right but fundamentally will the medical industry be reformed no will the finance industry be reformed no will the power brokers in wall street be taken out of power no will the the military industrial complex begin to be like defunded and dismantled to any significant extent no right like what what 
as an anarchist, like what, what is my, like, I, I tell people to vote, like vote, especially down ticket, right? Vote local, vote, vote like state and regional, right? That shit matters. Um, but like tick the federal box if you want, I don't give a shit one way or the other. Take one day off a week, uh, off a year, go vote. Um, be sure to vote down ticket cause your local mayor and your city council and shit like that actually can affect your life in a day to day and is easy to change and that matters. But as far as a federal election goes, like <laughs> why should I give a shit about that? The last one was literally about harm mitigation. The last election was literally about harm mitigation. You do know that, right? Like the majority of people uh, polled responded that they did not vote for Biden. They voted against Trump. What kind of fucking election is that? What kind of fucking choice is that? Where you're not voting for a candidate, you're just voting against one because God help us if that guy stays in. Oh, wonderful. What a brilliant system you've got going on there. Oh, it's just, oh, it's so Moorish. For Americans, I, I can't even, Moorish, I, I, you know, fucking, uh, let's see. I think it's funny that people have a mansion similar to a place other than will catch that. I know, right? Nonsense. <sighs> fucking naive fucks. Democrats don't care about you as much as Republicans, but in rainbow colors. Exactly, Mosh. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Tankies tried to swat, uh, tried to dox and swat my friend on Twitter. They talked about swatting him, but they couldn't get his address. They doxed his name though. The uh, city council is full of liberals who still hate homeless people and advocate for more police funding. They act as if they have moral authority. Uh, save democracy. Vote against the guy not whipping up the racist and telling you to be bleach. Um, I, Axel, everybody say, like, uh, not everybody. Look, not everybody, but everybody's saying that like, oh, Biden's doing better than I expected. Like, what'd you expect? Like, what were your expectations for him? Because he's not doing better than I expected. He's doing basically what I expected. I, 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 and I don't think there's anything to write home about either. Right? Like, what has, what has Biden done that is like, oh my God, that was, that was out of character. I would never would have seen that coming. Like, what, what, what was the thing? What, 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 or what were your expectations that like he'd walk in and the place would just spontaneously combust? Like, what, is it really, really low expectations or has he done something that actually surprised you? Can you like help me? Um, rainbow, but not even glitter. Not voting for him. Uh, not that I can. I don't live on that continent even. Eh, fair enough, Walter. I just expected Obama, but white. Uh, <laughs> not even a public option or student debt forgiveness. The bare minimum. Yeah, exactly. Like it. Uh, uh, if Biden survives to four years. I start to believe in magic, especially necromancy. Um. I, I, he's actually doing worse than I expected. <laughs> I expect him to be terrible. Since nonsense. Uh, the only thing that surprised me a little was the Afghan decision. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I think we could have withdrawn better. Necromonolus, uh, anomalous as uh, necromonolus, anomalous, sorry. Necromonolus Bidenness. Um, uh, fucking yeah. I, I, what's up Panda? Um, I've just been on a tear. I've been fuck, fuck this, fuck these people, fuck the fuck, 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 fuck. I've been on a fucking tear tonight, Panda. Like some serious, like go fuck yourself energy. Yeah, uh, I don't know how much more I have left in me, to be frank. Um, I could have withdrawn better. My dogs could have coordinated a better withdrawal. Fair, Bobby. I was being generous. Uh Really low expectations. Fair enough. I respect it, XL. Uh, really low expectations and a couple of things that did surprise me. He wasn't an austerity conscious as, as austerity conscious as I thought he would be. Eh, I didn't expect that to be, uh, be a thing, really. Childhood poverty was cut in half. <laughs> Press X to doubt on that one. Child tax credits, fair enough. First time homeowner credits, a big fucking deal with the, the real estate market we have. Uh, temporary pseudo basic income, so, some other stuff. What was the temporary pseudo basic income? Like the, the fucking like, how many, how many checks did we get under Biden? One? We got like what, two or three under, we got two under fucking, two under Trump, one under Biden? Was that the count? When all was said and done, or is it two under Biden, one under Trump? I forget. Either way, 
fucking he doesn't get credit for that. Not even a long shot. Um <clears throat> I voted against Trump, and I honestly can't say it would have changed anything if I hadn't. Pretty sure voting in local elections even made a difference. Uh, since I live in a red area of Florida, I really wanted to burn about this more so that I cannot have medical debt while we're waiting for late stage capitalism to do its thing and everything to go to shit. Fair enough, Crimson. Um, he, yes, he said 2002 and then discounted Trump's second check. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Like, he doesn't get credit for that. Honestly, so is the person still here? Fucking, we just we just gave you all of the answers that you wanted. Tim Vander Netherlands, you still here? Did you fuck off? Uh, stimulus is what I call whipping my butt after cutting chil uh, chilies. Okay, fair enough. Still here. All right. Well, did that answer your 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 question as far as my and chat's opinion on the presidential election? Does that does that help you understanding a little bit? Um, <clears throat> we're not hopeful, dude. Americans are some of the most. We're like we're reaching, we're we're reaching like epic pessimism levels. Shit is fucked. We're fucked. The world is fucked. Climate's fucked. What do we expect? Right. Yeah, hope. What the fuck's that? Hope. It's uh, yeah, you yeah, know, no, I know what hope is. Hope is um, hope is a sl uh, a campaign slogan for um, for the the previous neolib. Um, like that's that's pretty much right. Hope is hope is a trademark, right? Some sort of like brand label or something. It's like Coke or Pepsi. Hope. Something like that. Anyway. I sometimes help with deportation and extradition cases to Iraq and notice zero changes in direction between the administrations. Yeah, Marcus, for sure. For sure. <clears throat> Hope is slang for when you pay a prostitute to pee on you. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, at least under Trump, people were energized, motivated, and activated because of how awful he and his men was. With Biden, everybody was just about to, about to sleep. Fire. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. We... Maybe, maybe, you know what, fucking, maybe, yeah, you know what, I'm going to fucking bite that bullet, short term, mid term, we would have suffered more under a Donald Trump presidency, um, the short and mid term, a second Donald Trump, uh, 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 presidency, a second term would have, would have absolutely fucked this country long term. I think it might've helped. I think it might've helped. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think it might've pushed a few more people over the edge that we needed. I think, I think the, the red team, blue team swap, um, yeah, yeah, Tavert. I think, I think that fucking pendulum might've swung a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. I feel you on that one. Accelerationism timeline? Basically. Yeah. I, I don't want to be an accelerationist, but I mean, you know, it kind of feels that way. Like, I, I, I don't think, I, I think people are going to check the fuck out. I don't think people are going to, I think this midterm is going to be fucked. I think, uh, I think the presidential election is going to be fucked. I think the, the gerrymandering, the Republicans, the voting manipulation that the Republicans are getting away with is going to be fucked. Honestly, I think this fucking, um, like the Supreme Court is completely going to rig everything. If they, they they're going to rig what they haven't already rigged, right? Between fucking and God damn, some of these, it's just, yeah, no, I think we're fucked. I think we're fucked. Um, and Biden's a fucking coward. He's a neoliberal piece of shit coward. Um, he's, 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 he's too old. He's got no fight left in him. Holy shit. The man's like a billion years old for fuck's sake. Christ. I mean, have you seen, like, look, Trump was no fucking queen either. Right. But like, have you seen Biden? He looks old, right? Like he looks old. He carries himself like an old man. He looks ancient. He's got no energy left. He doesn't have any fight in him. <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting. Um, 
I mean, none of it was Trump's doing, right, Tavern? Can we can we all can we all just sort of agree? None of it was actually Trump's doing. Trump was a fucking figurehead. Trump was a fucking uh, a brand that was run, right? Yeah, yeah. Set the tone. Blah 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 blah. He was cover that let them get away, get the let the mainstays get away with what they wanted to get away with, right? They just burn his brand. Did it fucking Trump was a symptom. Trump was the genital wart to the HPV that is our system. There. Um, I, Bobby, I feel you. <laughs> Nonsense. Thank God he has no fight left in him. He used to be a competent racist corporate swine. Now he's just slightly warm enough to be technically alive. <laughs> nice Volata. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Panda. Biden has about as much energy as my legs do. <laughs> love the self-deprecation, Panda. Uh, love it. Um, Crimson, potentially. Potentially, in, in these time, dark times, I need hopium. Uh, wait, what did goat? U.S. populace only seems to converge on the correct solution after exhausting all deficient paths. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, who's, whose quote is that? Um, you can always, is that Winston Churchill? You can always count on the Americans to do the right thing after they've tried literally everything else. Right? Like, that's, that's dude, that's our M.O. That's that's just our MO. Um I identify I identify as a European that was born in the wrong place, but still greatly admire your country. The running gag among my friends is that the USA is the greatest country in the world except for most indices. Nonetheless, go Titans. Um The scary part is is we're the most important country in the world. We're not the best. We're not even close to the best. We're not even fucking... Dude, we're not even in the running. Dude, this race was won ages ago. We're not even close to. But we are the most important country in the world. And that's a terrifying thing to, to acknowledge. As an American, as an anarchist, as a leftist, as a human being paying attention on this planet, it's terrifying that the U.S. is the most important nation state on the planet. But it is. Um... Uh, best gangster state we are we got that fucking og status if there ever was uh fuck's sake journey is older and had a goddamn heart attack in the middle of campaigning he's still going to this day like a psycho gonna support strikes all over the top of everything he does motherfucker has more energy and stamina than i do it's because birdie is a goddamn gangster bernie is a goddamn yeah yeah Australia. Yeah. straight up bernie's fucking old as shit man bernie is a goddamn gangster he always has been has always been Bernie, Bernie, like people who don't know OG Bernie don't know, right? As a Vermonter from back, like I'm born in Vermont, right? Like as a Vermonter, I know, right? Like Bernie is a fucking gangster, right? This motherfucker went toe to toe with the cops in the streets, right? He got picked up and drug off the streets by both arms by police in the deep South protesting for civil uh, civil rights, right? This motherfucker saw the fire hoses in the German shepherds. This motherfucker went onto the congressional floor and straight up said, we should dissolve the CIA for all of its crimes against humanity, right? This motherfucker, when he was mayor of Burlington, told the fucking city council to kick rocks with their fucking homophobia and marched as the grand marshal in the first pride parade in Burlington, the largest city, in Burlington in Vermont, right, back in the 80s, right, during, like, AIDS hype, right, like, Bernie's leading the fucking charge. Bernie has been a gangster from day one. He toned himself down intentionally to get votes and to make progress and to become a senator, he knew the only way he could reach the masses was to drop all that fucking socialist rhetoric and to drop the fucking we need to dissolve the military industrial complex for its crimes against nations and, and individuals, right? Like, he knew what he was doing. He's a, he's a fucking cold, calculating motherfucker if there ever was, right? He knows what's up, so he toned his rhetoric. He tempered his rhetoric. 
but that motherfucker's been in the streets, right? Like he he's been there, he's done it, he's fought it, he's seen it, he's trust me, Bernie knows what's up, right? He, he I I got nothing but respect for that man. Um, and anybody who says a word against Bernie can fucking shove it. Honestly, like, yeah, as an anarchist, he's a statist. As an anarchist, he's fucking, you know, but he's putting in the work. He's putting in the goddamn work, and that's more than a lot of fucking people can say. It's more than a lot of people can say. So even as a, it, it, even, dude, Jack, I would love to see that. One last hurrah, like, before he retires and says, look, I can't do it anymore. Bernie should just fucking go off the chain again and be like, yeah, we're doing this, bitches fucking like some just firebrand f- uh, filibusters on the floor just dropping truth and fucking saying some shit that needs to be said oh that would be great they fucking you know but some some mic drop shit too right like yeah it would it would be it would be amazing um hola como esta um so I'm being referred to as a gringo. Might as well swap languages then. And how do you know I'm a gringo? It could be a, a pale-skinned Spaniard. There's plenty of Latinos that are um, exactly this skin tone. Just because you've made an assumption about my race doesn't mean I am that. Um, and anyway, I will expect all of my uh, responses in Spanish now um, from you. So, what's up? Um, honestly, there's so much about old Bernie to love. Um, uh, <laughs> fucking filibuster via a long Shakespearean reading of the bread book. That dude, fucking, I, I would love to see some like revolutionary fucking action on the part of Bernie. Just fucking dropping it. It'd be great. Uh, honestly, there's so much about old Bernie to love, but, um, fucking, <laughs> um, but uh, there's so much about old Bernie to love. But honestly, the most impressive thing to me was him apologizing to Barbara Lee, saying he shouldn't have made her vote against the Afghan war alone. Actually, grounded in human. Yeah, he he like, um, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Um, that's when I became aware of Bernie having C-SPAN on in the background. He'd give great speeches to empty halls. I was like, this motherfucker's hilarious. He is. Um. Espanol? Yeah. CC? Um. Fucking. Oh, uh, Wutz, uh, Wutz Verden. Uh, uh, nope, sorry. Wutz, uh, Ferdiner. Um, yeah, you're darker than me, and I'm 100% indigenous mixed Spanish. Right? Like, yeah, homie. Don't assume people are gringos just because you think they look white. There's plenty of white ass motherfucking Latinos. Just pale. Um, his Spanish ran out pretty quickly. I know, right? Si es que sabe más español, el troy muy básico. Um, anyway, um, yeah, haha, ha, so, so so cute. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, it's a weird ass Spanish. Um, uh, I'm a quarter Libyan Maltese, and I'm a pasty ass white dude. I'm a pale. Yeah, and Zippy's Zippy's straight up Hispanic. Um, cu- a cupcake. I get mistaken for Hispanic occasionally by Hispanic people. <laughs> the cheese is old and moldy. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's straight up. Like, Exol, no. Um, I'm Spanish speaking. See one of the ANCAP videos. Yep. Zippy went full, uh, full, like just hundred percent Spanish during one of the, the, the ANCAP videos. Cause I think we, like we did so we questioned your, your, your Hispanicy or something, your, your, your Latino-ness, Latino-ness, sorry. Um, uh, or something like that. And you're like, fuck this. I'm doing it all in Spanish now. <laughs> he was just hundred percent Spanish the entire time. It's great. Um, The Brazilian and Portugal language is called Portuguese. <laughs> uh, Brazil. Brazil. Uh, my ex is German Oklahoman and she gets mistaken for Hispanic because she burns then tans. Dude, Panda, I fucking tan beautifully. I have my mother's skin. 
Um, and so I, I, I straight up, um, I just tan brown. I don't burn. I just tan. <clears throat> I'll get a little red. I'll get a little twinge of red when I'm out in the sun that day. By the next day, I'll just be fucking golden. It's, it's, it's a thing. Yeah. German Oklahoman. Yeah. That, that caught me off guard too. I was, I was like, Ooh, nonsense. I've been mistaken for Arabic multiple times. I'm a Kansan. Um, I'm white passing, so racists treat me normally until they hear my accent. Jack, Jack, what's your uh, what? That, oh, okay. That was like, what's the what? What are what are you? <laughs> uh, my mama's a hundred percent whatever, and it's darker than all of you. She always gets asked if she speaks Turkish. Gets, yeah, oh, you're in that part of the world. Yeah. Um, have I traveled to other countries? Yes, not a whole lot, but yes. Um. I grew up crossing the northern U.S. border all the time. Um, as a Vermonter, we we transit over to Quebec all the time. That's just part and parcel of being a Vermonter. Uh, Vermonter. Um, uh, Puerto Rican. Oh, uh, Costa Rican. Sorry, I see Rican and all. I auto automatically go to uh, Puerto Rico. Um, fucking Costa Rican though. Costa Rica's nice. Do Costa Rica's nice? Um, I'm more of a. Uh, I, I prefer Belize um, for my vacation dollar. Um, Jack, uh, but you know, yeah, the, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Caribbean adjacent countries across the board, whether you're in central, Amer uh, central America or even the, uh, Northern Spanish, uh, Northern South America. Um, like, you know, Suriname, I love dude, Suriname's gorgeous. Um, but like, you know, yeah, you all know the regulars know I, I love spending time in the Caribbean. I take offense, but I'll accept it. Guy. <laughs> Sorry. It is, it is, it is absolutely like I see Rican and I automatically go to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Um, yeah, I love Puerto Rico. It's a great. It's a great fucking country. And I'm going to call it a country, even though it's, I know it's a U.S. territory. It's a fucking country, dude. We just, we just fucking, we stole it. <laughs> That's all. It's just, a, it's colonialism. It's colonialism. But if you fucking, if you go to Puerto Rico and don't, um, don't like see that it's clearly not of the U S um, it, you know, um, uh, sadly, I'm not old enough to have an Argentinian grandpa. <laughs> I reference again, my Spanish teacher in high school, Gabriela Steiger, a full blooded German from the, uh, from Argentina. I can't imagine what her family was like. <laughs> hey, Gabriella, <laughs> fucking tell me about grandpa. <laughs> we don't talk about grandpa. <laughs> oh, fucking dude, She was a cunt. She was a cunt. Uh, I'm just landing in this Twitch account. I'm going to stick you for some politically radical dude, but I stand corrected. I mean... Uh, Tim Vander, I'm literally an anarchist and I advocate for the dissolution of the state replacement with a hierarchical uh, uh, organizational structure. I mean, it's about as radical as you can fucking get is to say dissolve the nation state, I mean, in my opinion. But like, you know, hey, I, I don't know. I don't know what you were expecting. Um, Costa Rica is cheap if you aren't Costa Rican. It is. It is. It is. It, then, Jack, that entire part of the world is cheap if you're not from there. Uh, what countries have I traveled to? Uh, countries. Let's see. Um, fucking uh, Dominica. Um, fucking. Let's see. Okay. So wait. Start early. Go elsewhere. Um, fucking, uh, Canada, Dominica, Belize, Costa Rica. Um, I would have been in, um, oh God, did I stop over in Guatemala as well? I stopped over in Guatemala as well. Um, I've also been in all of the U S Virgin islands. Um, I've been in, let's see, I've been to, uh, St. Martin. Is that the Dutch? The Dutch owns St. Martin, right? Is that France or the Dutch that owns St. Martin? Um, I've, I've been like all across the Caribbean. Uh, I haven't spent much time in South America, but I want to uh, spend a lot of time in Uruguay and Peru. Um, Peru. Sorry, it's habit. Uh, if I get the chance. Um, Australia's on the list as well. Um, and then India's on the to-do list as well. Past that, I don't go anywhere else. For me, it has to be uh, it has to be a beach. That's that's my travel requirements. I'm not kidding you. That's my travel requirements. You have to have tropical fucking like tro it has to be in the tropics and it has to be a beach. With without it, Uruguay. Exactly. Yeah, I'm Tony Hawk and Dead Mouse. 
Uh, radical dude. <laughs> Uh, I believe in a have a democracy based on Uber. Who's the president? I don't know who's driving Uber in Orange County today. <laughs> um, that's that, Panda. That reminds me of a Wanda Sykes routine. Um, it's half occupied by France, the other half by the Netherlands. So just give me a name. That's why it's fucking fucked up in my head, right? That's why it's fucked up in my head because it's it's literally split down the middle. It's like um, Haiti versus the Dominican Republic. Um, that's uh, it reminds me of an old Wanda Sykes bit. Wanda Sykes said that like um, public service jobs, like you president and like it, all of that sort of shit, should just be like um, 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 jury duty. She said you basically you should just open up a letter in the mail one month and go, oh shit, I'm Secretary of State. Right? Like, yeah. You shouldn't... The people who want it like that, that they probably shouldn't have it. Uh, Jack, uh, uh, platanos are better than bananas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, Jack, I don't... I'm, I'm not going to fight you. Um, fucking um, plantains, for those of you who don't speak Spanish. Plata um, plantanos. Um, plantains, um, smashed... Uh, dude, um, mafungo. Mafungo is life. For those of you who don't know fucking mafungo... Uh, fucking, um, yeah, Mafungo is life. Um, welcome to the goddamn Caribbean. If you don't like, uh, uh, Mafungo, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do with you. Um, and Tostones, Tostones are, 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 uh, like smashed up fried plantains, like twice fried usually. They're like chips, but better. Um, yeah, and mafungo is like a, a sort of like a plantain mash that often is spiked with like garlic and onion and like then topped with whatever, pulled pork, shrimp, fish, fucking, you name it. Uh, mafungo is amazing. Uh, we call them, uh, patacones here. Oh, interesting. Yeah, um, yeah, th that's not what we call them. Um, I, you know, I, I know them as tostones, um, but, you know. Lottoocracy. That's uh, uh, <laughs> nice. All right. Well, I'll take it. Um, yeah. Interesting, Jack. The, the Costa Ricans um, raisin tamales suck. Oh, fuck raisins. Look, raisins are a fine, fine snack unto themselves. Keep them out of fucking dishes. They just they fuck stuff up. Uh. My mom's Colombian, so I call them too. Interesting. I'm not uh, not heard of Sykes bit in a grip. She's taken a while, dude. She did. Yeah, she basically just checked the fuck out. I think. Um, but yeah, it's what it's my favorite Wanda Sykes bit about like you know fucking oh fuck I'm Secretary of State this month. It's a good solid bit. Um, yeah, dude. Yeah, but Mafungo is life. Uh, I, I if you go if you if you find yourself in the Caribbean and you're not um, like eating some Mafungo. I don't know what to do with you, homie. Like, here you go. Here's some fucking mafungo. Um, I don't know if I like any of these preparations. Okay, so here's here's a traditional Puerto Rican mafungo. It's done in a mortar and pestle. You smash the shit out of them, and then you, like, fold in, like, garlic and whatever fucking herbs and spices and shit you want to do. But you can, I mean, you can do saucy mafungo. You can do, like you know, fucking shrimp cocktail mafungo. You can do like, I mean, here's, you know, fucking, uh, this is like gonna be braised beef, probably oxtail or something. It's not oxtail, but braised beef, something in that territory. Like here's a more soupy spin, uh, 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 fucking shrimp one. Here's more of a traditional preparation. Like the, the stuff gets piled on top. In most cases that's mafungo. So it's starchy. It's, 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 it's starchy. It's, it's proteiny. It's saucy. It's, it's great. Mafungo is, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, fucking. Oh, uh, the fucking bread, right? Um, uh, the, the panmon, um, it's, it's, it's a bread, right? Hang on. Panmon. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Panmon. Yeah, it's like it's it's a fucking it's a bread product of some sort. Um, it's like, isn't it? It's 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 um like 
cinnamon and nutmeg and like raisins and shit like that, isn't it, Jack? Like it's it's a, it's a sweet preparation. It's like candied fruit and shit, right? It's kind of akin to um, uh, ginger. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's kind of akin to like um, fruit cake and shit like that. All right. Um. Yeah. Honestly, I, I, you know, I love the Caribbean. I love, I love Central and South America. I love the Caribbean. I, you know, South America, there's some areas I can take. There's some areas I can could leave. Um, like I said, Uruguay and Peru are like at the top of my list. Um, but the Argentina and Chile are both like, I love them too. Um, the rest of them are in various degrees of, mm, don't really care one way or the other. Um, <laughs> don't compare God to your pen on to fruitcake. My answer is just to come back to fight you. Fair enough. Fucking Bobby. I dig the Caymans. <laughs> you fucking. Oh, Bobby. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it, it's. <laughs> so did. Uh. I said log. Uh, you should try pastisi. Uh, it's a pastry from Malta. It's either filled with melted ricotta or Nutella, both savory and sweet. Pastisi. Oh, it's a fuck. Okay, it's a, it's it's a turnover. It's 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 a yeah, it's a turnover. I I you know it's not quite in the dumpling territory, but it definitely is in a tur turnover territory. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That's super flaky. That looks fucking impressive as fuck. That's some good pastry work. That's some really good pastry work. Oh, Jack. Yeah. It guaranteed to be a pain in the ass to make. Guaranteed. Getting pastry, getting pastry layers that fucking flaky, always a pain in the ass. Just go talk to the French or the Belgians. Uh, what do we got? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Viscous. Viscous's latest meme is cat, cat, cat. If you're still here, you need to go look at memes. Um, fucking Viscous posted a fucking meme. You're gonna love Cat. Um, uh, oh, that's so bad. That's so bad, fucking Panda. That is an interesting fruit, huh? Full of fiber, lots of vitamins, plenty of minerals, good source of digestible uh, uh, carbohydrates. N not really sweet though, almost like a sweet potato, like a giant roasted chestnut, sort of a nut potato hybrid. What an interesting fucking fruit. Uh, it's also called a peach palm. Huh. There. Nice, Jack, for sure. Uh, what you got? <laughs> My dog finding out he's the leader now. Zippy's cute puppers. Um, Ice prickly pear milkshakes are also sold in pasta pastas uh, cause it's fucking hot in Malta. Um. Oh god, we got a fucking like Brazilian wannabe fascist in in fucking chat. Bolsonaro, twenty twenty two. Fuck it, fuck it. Hey, we're too fucking lame to have our own Donald, actual Donald Trump. So we have a fucking cheap knockoff South American copy. 
AKA Bolsonaro. Jesus Christ. I think that's the first time somebody's come in fucking doing the Trump 2024, 20 fucking 20, 2022 fucking shtick. Um, but for, for fucking Brazil, that's, that's, I think that's a new one. <laughs> Karina, I'd, I'd, I'd play that role. Uh, bruh, Bolsonaro was even attacked by Emu, so. Uh, Lula da Silva, uh, 2022. Lula's, uh, heading the polls. Interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I know these. The, the Kakatas. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Mexicans serve these, too. I've, I've seen, I, I, I have seen these. It's, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. It's, it's, yeah, they're from Spain. So they're all over South America and Central America because of the Spanish. Yeah. Uh, yes, I did, nonsense. I did see that. <laughs> yeah, long live Bolsonaro. Fucking. Fuck him. Even even his even his own gut. Uh, what movie? Um, uh, we got a couple. We got a couple. Um, so we have a few few to pick from. Um, but we've got Alien Seed, we've got Roadhouse, and we've got Karate Dog. Um. Sort of for like tonight. Um, Alien Seed is like a must because Nonsense is actually going to be in attendance. Um, and Nonsense and I have been, we've been talking about this fucking movie since we saw the trailer. Um, so Alien Seed's definitely on the agenda. Um, but then it's just a matter of whether we do Roadhouse or The Karate Dog or we do all of it. Yes, as in, yes, uh, yeah, as in Roadhouse. Yeah, that roadhouse. As in Patrick Swayze. Yes. Oh no, I want to do. I want to do fucking yeah. No, I want to do the OG. Is it, dude? We 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 got a bunch of fucking youngins, Bobby, um, that have never seen shit like Roadhouse. We got we got fucking children in our community, Bobby. So let's 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 do that. Um. Oh, you know what? Actually, we've got that on. Like we've we've talked about doing that, Jack. Um. Uh, we've done, I think we've done one. We've done one of his films and I forget which one. Um, oh, that's right. We did, um, we did Blood Rain. We did Blood Rain. Um, that was, we, yeah, yeah, we did Blood Rain, which is a, a fucking, a bowl fucking film. Yeah. Uh, desperate lives. <laughs> the 80s made an entire movie based on a family guy joke. It, they did. It's fucking crazy. I know, right? Um. Oh, wait. What did fucking I missed? Uh. Okay. Any comments on the fact that Magas now take tests? Oh, fucking Mosh. Dude, I was, I was blown away by that. I was laughing my ass off. They're fucking taking androgen blockers to combat COVID. They take they take ivermectin, which affects motility, sperm count, and um uh, um um morphology. So the the actual shape of the sperm, the tail formation, whether it can swim or not, morphology. Uh, motility, its ability to swim, and the overall sperm count. Ivermectin affects all fucking three of those things, right? Sperm are being killed by ivermectin. At the same time, they're taking anti-androgens. Like, you're, you're killing your testosterone production at the same time as you're, like, affecting your, your sperm production. These motherfuckers are like literally neutering themselves to own the libs. (laughs) 
Oh, we've told them, Squirrel. We've told them over and over again. They don't want to listen, which makes it even better. Yeah, self-eugenics to own the libs. <clears throat> wow, it must be the future since we have trash that takes itself out. Um, Postal was even worse. All right, duly noted. I, I, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. Hey, that just leaves more testosterone for uh, for me. I'll take more. Yeah, give me all the testosterone supplies. I'll take them. Um, <laughs> one day, let's do Roadhouse 2, not tonight, so I can narrate all the places in the movie, but pretty much every set location. Fair enough, Bobby. Fair enough. Um, I'm not even going to try and fucking say that, Panda. Not even going to try and fucking say that. Uh, okay, fucking... Uh, Imbuljuta? Tal Kastan? It sounds Arabic. It feels Arabic. It's Malta, after all. I, I, I'm sorry for butchering it. <clears throat> um, Maltese hot chocolate or midnight mass chocolate. It is the shit. Um, it's thick, hot chocolate with walnuts, citrus zest, and cinnamon. Hey, Ask. How you doing, Mama? Um... Oh, it does look fucking Jesus Christ. It looks Moorish as fuck. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, Jack. I, 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 con I sincerely believe I did butcher that beyond belief. Um, how does sperm production rate uh, relate to uh, ivermectin intake? Oh, uh, there's a study done by the University of Nigeria vis-a-vis uh, -vis, um, the um, usage of ivermectin in. Um, river worm river parasite infection and they did a um it's a solid study despite you're like the university of nigeria it's actually fucking a solid school um they did a they did a solid study that is referenced by veterinary guides in this country and abroad like we if you are in veterinary practice for equine practice uh, if you're in veterinary practice and you specialize in equine uh, services, you're familiar with this study already probably because the fact of the matter is, is that if you have breeding stock, if you have a stallion, it is, um, uh, it is recommended to not dose them with ivermectin because it will potentially affect their, uh, their breedability. So like veterinarians are, are already familiar with the practice of not giving breeding males ivermectin. Beca as a dewormer because of that potential outcome. Um, and one of the, one of the sources of like that knowledge is this like university of Nigeria, um, uh, Lagos, um, uh, Lagos, uh, study. And we, I've read the entire study be uh, back to back, like cover to cover. We read it on fucking voice chat. We covered it on air. It's a solid study. It, it's, it holds water to this day. It's been reviewed and backed up. Um, it affects three, like I said, three aspects. It affects overall sperm pr uh, rate production. It affects uh, motility or the ability of them to move around and the morphology of the sperm, the uh, spermatozoa, the actual formation of the sperm and whether it will be functional or not as a sperm. Um, 11 alarm fire. Jesus. In New Jersey tonight, evacuations outside of Newark and Passaic. Okay. That's, um, that's a thing. Um, so yeah. Wait. Oh, well, it, last time it was a six alarm, then a 10 alarm. And now it's, oh, it's a chemical fire. It's a chemical fire. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is it already? No, okay. Um. Oop. Hey, you're welcome, uh, to Vander. <laughs> You can see this. Uh, it was a chemical fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's. Uh, yeah. You can see smoke from New York City. Yeah. 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 Um. Fucking. I'll do that. <laughs> oh. So those are the levels. Six, ten, chem, and I'm out. Fuck you. Um. It'd be great if we had some video of it. 
but that's that's a shit fucking photo. Uh, images, video, news. Yeah, let's get some video. You uh, fucking. Right now we're following breaking news in New Jersey. This is in Passaic where a building is on fire. You can see the Al Street and bring you more information. That is useless. Jesus goddamn Christ. The fucking. And breaking news right now at 11. A massive fire at a chemical plant in New Jersey. And breaking news right now at 11. A massive fire at a chemical plant in New Jersey is shooting flames into the sky. The smoke is so widespread. It's now shut down a major highway, and people can see it nearly 10 miles away. Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. And yeah, nobody cares about you, Maurice. Fucking, like... Get out of the way so you can take a look at what it looks like right now. It has been contained a lot just within the last hour or so as firefighters have been attacking that fire, but it is still burning, uh, according to the mayor, out of control. We are told there are two buildings involved right now. Luckily, I was just told by the mayor that a chlorine plant or warehouse that is very close to this fire has not caught fire nope, yet. Nope, nope. Not yet. The chlorine, the chlorine warehouse isn't on fire yet. Sirens could be heard from every direction in Passaic as the fire raged out of control. It's unfortunate. You don't know who's who. I mean, who gives? I'm sorry. Yeah, the man on the street interviews are fucking street, obnoxious. A fireball reached several stories high and a toxic cloud of smoke could be seen and smelled from miles away. Passaic Mayor Hector Laura warning people who live nearby. To all residents in the immediate area. I mean, it may be on fire now, Aka. Our firefighters are desperately working to get this fire under control. Some neighbors went to take pictures and video, others fleeing the other direction. <laughs> yeah, go the other yeah, direction. So I'm heading out right now. Yeah. I don't know what these people are doing getting too close, but it's worrying. We <laughs> don't know what's going to happen. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> dummies. <laughs> fucking dummies. Hey guys, the chlorine plant's on fire. Let's go look. Let's go fucking have a gander. <laughs> Jersey. Yeah, right. Jersey. Fucking Jersey. <laughs> uh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly, Caboose. Ah, uh, No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be har it's, yeah, it's completely harmless. Don't mind that. Chlorine fumes are, 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 are renowned the world over for being um, hel healthful. Um, if you breathe in chlorine, it disinfects the lungs. In fact, if you have COVID right now and you're in the Passaic area in New Jersey... Um, you should definitely go um, breathe some of those fumes in. Um, it will help kill off the um, the COVID virus, um, for sure, for sure. That's definitely how that works, right? 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 Oh, don't do that. Don't. Don't. Oh, interesting. Anyway, well, I guess my understanding of stuff is true. Uh, that ass backwards. Uh, oh, it says here's the fucking New York one saying it has spread too. Um, so. Yep. They're saying it has spread to the, uh, the chlorine plant. So. Yay. Oh. Um. Get your fucking vaccine and like just, you know, just just wear a mask, wash your fucking hands and get your vaccine, Tim Bander. That's that's all. Um Yeah, I know. Uh hydrochloric acid would probably kill it. I know, right? I know, right, Panda? Dude, Panda, we're already talking about um, vaporized, uh, nebulized um, ivermectin. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, Lada. Oh. 
Um, all right. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be driving the other direction by now. I, I'd be the, getting the fuck out of there as well. They're like, no, there's no need for us to be here anymore. Like, why, why, why would you even attempt to be there? Hey, let's get close to the chlorine fire, y'all. I know that's not a fucking New Jersey accent, but honestly, um, uh, Panda, no, 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 Panda. We wanted to do apple flavored. We wanted, we wanted to stay, um, we wanted to stay with the apple, uh, apple horse paste flavor, seeing as they seem to like it. Yeah, we figure we, we play to their uh, their tastes already. You know, the, the brand work has already been done. So why why fuck it up? Yeah, Cribs, I'd be getting the fuck out of there. I'd be like, well, time for a road trip. <clears throat> Applejack, like in My Little Pony. Claude nonsense, you're right. You're right. You're right, nonsense. That's fucking Jesus Christ. Oh, and be over. Uh, I know you asked that earlier. Yes, 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 be over. If you're still here, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been doing testosterone replacement therapy for since April of last year. Life changing. Um, honestly, hor uh, uh, HRT fucking for, for the win. For the win. Be over. If you've been dealing with shit, fucking replace those hormones. Just replace them. Honestly, it's the best decision I made. <laughs> Go for it. Um, alter it a little to apple pie and sell it as true American medicine. God bless America. Um, yeah. Oh, fucking. All right. Um... All right, it's almost nine o'clock. Uh, I did fuck it. Okay, yeah. Um. Um. Yeah, I think we're. I think we we were hitting the time where I'm gonna raid out to Buddhist and then I'll jump on VC and I still have. I, I still want to get a little bit of exercise in. I want to do my legs. Um. Before we start doing the fucking sit down and get stoned and do nothing for the rest of the night stuff. So I may do some more core, may do some legs, but I'll be on VC for most of it. Um. <clears throat> New Jersey was not nice while it lasted. Um. Without without taking into account what you think, what state you live in. Oh, I live in Nevada. I live in Las Vegas. I live in Nevada. Um. What like are you asking what state I'd prefer to live in? But yeah, I, I live in I live in Las Vegas. That's very well known. Uh <clears throat> Cause if if it's my choice what state uh, I'm just starting to skip periods. I feel fine so far. I'm lucky to look young, but eventually to catch up with me. I don't do any meds or regimens. Just been lucky. Uh, I'm in a state of grace. Uh, if you're asking me what state I prefer to live in, it, then my answer is Vermont. My home state is brilliant. Vermont is the best state. Um, the only issue with Vermont is if you're not white, you're probably not going to have a great time. It's, it is a bit of an ethno state. They have a bit of a racism issue. Um, I mean, classic, a classical example that I give is they had a, um, <clears throat> they had a, uh, a, a black, I believe attorney general or uh, state attorney of some sort. And she, due to all of the racist threats had to leave office. Um, but the people of Vermont readily elected a trans woman, no issue. No threats, no fucking anything. Um, so Vermonters are perfectly accepting of like trans rights, gay rights, fucking immigrants. Um, it, it is, but it's a bit of an eth ethno state. Yeah, if you if you're if you're tenuously beige, you might have some issues. Stick to the bigger cities. Um, not gonna lie, it's got it's got a bit of a race issue. Um, but like a lot of this country has a bit of a race issue, right? So. <clears throat> It is, it's a very weird line in the sand, Jack. Um, if you're in and around the cities, like if you're in Burlington or Montpelier, and yes, I know Montpelier, 
Um, and if you're around like Burlington or Montpelier or any of the like inhabited like urban areas in Vermont, um, you're fine. You're fine. You could be fucking black, immigrant, it, fucking Syrian. It does. It does not matter. Um, but if you get out into the sticks, rurality, man. Rural areas are rural areas, whether they're in a super progressive state like Vermont or whether they're in Alabama. Dude, people out in the sticks are fucking ass backwards. I don't know. Tim, Tim Vanner, no. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't do the sports ball. Uh, New Hampshire, uh, New Hampshire maple syrup is inferior to Vermont maple syrup. Just like everything out of New Hampshire is inferior to the Vermont version. New Hampshire is our um, half-assed step sibling of a state and needs to tone it down a notch with that live free or die shit because they're a bunch of fucking um, statist, uh, statist authoritarian monkeys anyway. Um, so yeah, fuck New Hampshire. <laughs> it's a rivalry. It's a rivalry. Um, we, we, you know, we, we tend to, um, New Hampshire is bootleg Vermont. It is, it is. Um, we tend to, um, tell people like, if you, if you can't mind your own fucking business, go over to New Hampshire, they'll take you a bunch of nosy fucks. Vermonters are pretty notorious for like, mind your own fucking business. Um, yeah, we, that's, that's the running joke in Vermont is like, you may not be welcome here. Try, try New Hampshire. Um, so anyway, uh, with all of that said, fucking sports, go sports, uh, Garfunkel and Oates, the, the loophole Garfunkel and Oates. They're good people. Um, they're funny as fuck. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to raid out to Buddhist, but I'm going to jump into VC and then I'm going to do some exercises and then, uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie, movie is in discord be over, but it's going to be in about an hour probably. Um, it's going to be 45 minutes to an hour, but we'll be in VC and you can see us. Um, 100,000 pounds of chlorine are burning, according to the Passaic Mayor, Hector Laura. Good luck to New Jersey tonight. Good luck to New Jersey tonight. That's all I have to say. Fucking, that's a shit situation. If you're in Passaic, get the fuck out. Dude, if you're anywhere near Passaic, get the fuck out. You don't need to be there. You don't need to be there. Take a fucking road trip. Get the fuck out of there. Just drive down the fucking highway. Go visit somebody in Maryland. Go fucking go somewhere else. Just go fucking somewhere else. Um. So yeah. Um. Otherwise, bad movie night on Discord server. If you're not on the Discord server, type exclamation Discord really quickly, or get the link from down below in the profile. Join us for bad movie night. Um, otherwise, um, enjoy, uh, enjoy Buddhist. Buddhist is good people. He's a member of the community and we all love him, um, just as much. Bye.